Brad, your room's not on? We no, are you're live on. right now, ladies and gentlemen. How the fuck are you doing? Happy Easter, everybody. If uh, happy for the Easter. people to celebrate that, uh, this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, happy Easter. Yeah, so long time no see, guys. I know, it's been like a month. Yeah, but wow, time flies, you know, right? Yeah, seriously, it's definitely I'll, been a month. Drink to that. I'll so. drink to that too. I got to get us. Let me get my <laughs> and look. Brad shaved today. He he uh, he trimmed uh trimmed up the beard today. I think. And Brad Brad had people to impress recently. So yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. I shaved <laughs> too. Not that we're gonna get too much into that because both Captain Hammer and the LAPD watch this channel. So <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not get too much into that. But good for you, Brad. <laughs> Let's get, let's get. Nice to see you clean shaven. Mm. Ah, oh, so, man, that beer tastes okay. so good. So we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna play some catch up on uh. Well, I'm gonna start playing some catch up with all the latest and greatest stuff that's been going on with you guys. I saw yeah? you just two weeks ago. <laughs> it's the, <laughs> it's the uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, what one week ago? Just a little over a week ago. Vix here yeah. in spirit right now. So for whoever uh, didn't. <laughs> Watch my channel or Vic's channel or Brad's channel. Me, Brad, and Vic met up uh, in person for the first time in real life, and uh, I can tell you, he looks uh, exactly like he does in video, uh, just as white as he does now. Um, <laughs> Beautiful dead bod. He, oh yeah, him and his brother. Uh, they they are technically twins, but uh, I, I can tell them apart. Aren't Thank you. Are, you, we, are we, they really, are you really twins? Are they twins? We are identical twins, yes. Brad, Brad and Brad are identical twins. twins. Yep. No shit. Yep. No shit. Yeah, but oh, the crazy part is they can actually bypass each other's biometrics on their phone. That's a little scary. Voice print and face ID. That's yeah. That's fucking weird. <laughs> so you guys sound exactly the same? Uh, Yes. Yep. What about the hairline? Does he got the Bill Murray going on like you do? Yeah. I'm sure underneath his giant comb over that he's had since the skater haircut from high school, it looks just like me. <laughs> the giant so... comb over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So uh, yeah, for the for the folks who tune in, um, Vic uh, was commissioned by my brother at my recommendation to to get him a uh, a, a giant V pin. So Vic been building it up for last month or two, um, and. Last weekend, we went up to get it to save on shipping, and Ray came over. We had a great little afternoon before we had to run back to Baltimore in the rain. And oh, uh, yeah, the worst possible day to do that, too. That was yeah. stupid. Like, epic I was there blood. in spirit. What time did you end up getting to Vic's house? Uh, what happened to Ray? He left. Oh, pff. or did you kick him out? Button. Did you kick I, him out? I didn't touch it. <laughs> Ray just went gone. Yeah, he'll be uh, back. What time did yeah. you? Uh, we got to Vic's at. Gosh, I want to say it was like one o'clock, twelve thirty maybe. Um, but then we ended up staying at Vic's a lot longer than we All planned. Right. Hey, he's back. Sorry, I I actually uh, redid my computer, so I actually I'm not logged into my YouTube on um on the comments section. So I need to somehow. You can comment over here on the right, right? Look to the right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to be on the YouTube. It'll, it'll send all, all channels if you comment in Streamlabs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to connect. There we go. I'm like wondering what the hell's. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was have, I was trying to figure out an issue with Time Crisis Five that was driving me butt fuck crazy because it just stopped booting and I it took me like eight resets to figure out the issue. Are you on Techno Parrot or standalone? Both, both of them uh, had the issue. It was basically um, uh, my Bluetooth printer uh, took up one of the COM ports that apparently Time Crisis Five needs to be open in order to launch. Oh, so user error. <laughs> <laughs> it's a product error, but yeah. It's... No, that's a user error. <laughs> that's what that I was is. Feeling like safe... You got me scared for a second. Like, fuck, what's going on with Time Crisis 5? Why did these always games fucking... Going. There is, Brad. There is. I swear to God, there is, yeah. dude. I haven't been building seven arcades for three months for no fucking reason. I swear to God, man. Something goes wrong all the time, and I always bitch in our in our. You guys listen to me bitch so much. <laughs> Thank you for that. You do. You really. You guys really listen to me bitch and complain. Yeah, like those folks at home. We, we we try to get most of Joel's vitriol out of his system before the uh, before the, the live shows. So. Yeah, right. Normal basis, by the so, way. It is like we got a private chat going on through Facebook Messenger, and like every day, I'm just like I'm just bitching in there because I can't bitch to anybody else. Who else am I going to bitch to? Right? You guys get it. Nobody else will get it. Am I, if I, what am I going to do? Bitch to my wife? She's just like, uh huh. Yeah, yeah she's not going to. You get chose it. this, right? Exactly. Right. That's what she's. She'll be like, your fault. 
Yeah. That sounds like a you problem. That's what she's going to say. <laughs> Fair enough, right? I mean, oh, to, to cut, put it into context, uh, Joel's wife is a lawyer, so that this, she has no interest in our kids whatsoever, I'm guessing. None whatsoever. None, period. Yeah. No, it's virgin yeah. territory for her. None. None whatsoever. Rake, mirror your camera. Flip it. It's uh, fucking her- me up, dude. I can't do. I can't watch you that way. It's weird. <laughs> you know, the way his room actually looks, we need to see the mirror. We were too yeah. long of mirror. We need to you're, keep mirror. Listen, Ray, your forehead looks better on the other side. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Cheers. All right. Now I got my drink. Cheers. I got my black label ready Catch to up. go. Catch up. This is the first time that we're all drinking together on a Sunday. Is oh, it? You're drinking today. Uh, you're I, hard- I usually don't drink on, on Sunday nights. or no. I, usually don't, I don't really drink that often in general. This is this is the same Guinness I had back from St. Patrick's Day. Ah. So, and I only have two of them. So I don't have anything else. I got weed. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of weed, <laughs> but I can't smoke weed in the house and my disposables upstairs, and that'll just put me to sleep. So that's yeah. actually what I use that disposable for is just to go to bed. And Friday was- night, dude. Right. I was I was playing Shadows of the Empire and I was puffing on that thing on my Steam Deck and I was just falling asleep like in bed playing that thing like holy shit dude it caught me hard. The um, uh, I'll play um Walking Dead. Yet? Oh yeah, that's yes. I wanted to catch up on uh, the Lycan scene for the last let's just say month, and I think the biggest thing was Walking Dead. And uh, you know, um, don't get me wrong, it's 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 big and everyone's really excited about it, but it doesn't seem to be hitting the meta is hard as when Jurassic Park hit. No. Is it just because Jurassic Park hit when everybody was on holiday vacation and we're all excited about it or what? I think so, it, yeah. It, I think that's and, what it uh, is. And also, um, it got, the, the the screen bug, the aim bug got fixed like in 10 minutes. I put on, I posted on Discord and got fixed. So since no one needed a fix, that's uh, no, about to sneeze. Uh, Jurassic Park also had a sound bug. This one, did yep. not, this one was good to go like right away. So, hey, the Jim. Poster. Yeah, Thank he, you, Jay Foster. He bought yeah. my um my desk, my my console PC. Oh, oh! Before you went to the wall mount. No, no, he, no. That, that that went to Raul. He bought the one that I built that looks like a PlayStation Five, the white one. Mm. Uh, that was, oh, 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 it was a white one, really? You had a white one? <laughs> yeah, right. White everything. You got the weirdest <laughs> white fetish for a fucking Asian guy. It's just You're, because it and makes your wife's not white. <laughs> I can't, I can't build like wooden stuff in my house because it just makes the place look small and congested. If you go to my dad's house and my house, it's the exact same layout and the exact uh, same building structure, but his thing looks so much smaller than mine because it, everything is old wood colored. Does your if dad I have live a you? Brad, you know, is like you know, with three bedrooms and a giant backyard, that wouldn't make a difference. Four, you see, yeah, it wouldn't make a difference to me. Four bedrooms. I'm gonna pee in one of those corners. Hey, <laughs> nobody else is using that corner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course, nobody no, here. I won't do that. Oh, that's do that. No, we're what happened to the that. bridge? Is it, what's the, the deal with that? that the what? On. The oh, bridge? Yeah. Like, knocked down in Baltimore. The big hole where a bridge used to be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, so for the folks at home, I'm, I'm relatively close to the key bridge uh, disaster down in Baltimore. Um, yeah. So they just started salvage operations today. It'll take a couple months just to clear the port. And then there won't be another bridge there for years, maybe 10 by the time they're all said and done. So wow. it's, uh, yeah, down t- I went to downtown Baltimore for a couple things this weekend. And I was like, what is happening in downtown? Is there a couple ball games? Oh, right. They're all, everyone has to use the tunnels now. Who used to use oh, the bridge. That's an alternative. Right, right. Yeah. I forgot you guys. So, I didn't know you guys had tunnels under the river. Yeah, yeah, there's two There's two tunnels that go through the inner harbor. And, you know, they have a moderate amount of traffic. But now it's just flooded with people. Right. So that sucks. Yeah. Fuck that traffic even more. So back mm-hmm. to the walking dead. Hmm. Um, I, I'm, I'm with you, Brad. I like, there's not much hype for it through YouTube. I might be one of the only few people that made a video and that's yeah. never happens. And I thought um, I missed my window. Know. Cause I'm like, I, you know, I, I've been out of the YouTube scene for a couple of weeks, but I was like, Oh, well I missed my window on walking dead, but somebody also do it. And, um, I just didn't see, I mean, what Jurassic park dropped and it was like, you know, 5,000 views in a, in a, in a couple days, you know, like, and, uh, I thought somebody would strike gold with walking dead, but it just seems to kind of be like, Hey, walking dead's here. Eh, Dude, I think so. I got like 300 views on my short with that. That's crazy. Yeah. For that. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good game, right? So, yeah. you know, I, um, I, I hooked up like 10 different customers with it 
and I took care of the customers in, in the past couple of days with that game. Even a couple sending guys were having some issues with it, and we yeah. got it going. Now, was that even, like, I knew that we all kind of thought Walking Dead was soon, but was there, like, an imminent buildup? Was there a lot of expectation? Because I remember there was a lot of buildup for Jurassic Park being, like, the New Year's Eve present. Like, I didn't see emails. I think they just dropped it silently. Yeah. That, that might have been some of it. It didn't have the, the promo. It's on the Discord. Like, uh, if the Discord reverb posts, um, you know, what's coming up. And if you check the update uh, change log on Technopad, it's like, oh, zombies are coming. Now, it was only like two days of buildup. It wasn't a big thing. I didn't yeah. really play it all the way through. I just played the first level. And it was uh, it was cool. You know, you got to shoot the zombies directly in the head. Yeah, it's a precision game. So it's not like yeah. JP where it's just like hold the trigger and go nuts. Right. I wouldn't put J. I wouldn't put Walking Dead like on the gun cart, for example. Um, no, the mounted guns. But originally, they are mounted guns, though. They are, but the uh, the precision needed with with my gun cart, I'm like I just double fist in Jurassic Park, just felt way better than yeah. trying to do precision shots from the from the hip. You know, I bet there wasn't a lot of hype right now for it because it's a subscription based game. Well, so and was JP. So was right. JP. Well, that's not but... a big now this is this is like the fifth oh. subscription based game in a row right this released. is the first game for first subscription game to come out since they switched off patreon it is too yeah and a lot of people oh. probably don't have subscriptions anymore because they don't know what happened to the patreon if they don't pay attention yeah. oh also uh, they add, they just added paypal support uh like two days ago oh yeah i okay. paid through paypal actually yeah yeah it took it took it took like that's why I was bitching to you guys about that. It took like 25 minutes for my key to come through. Um, and I did it on two different emails just in case the one email, I'm like, did I not register this? This is not there. So I did two different emails and it literally took 25, yeah, 30 it, minutes for the key. Before it took about that long too. Yeah, mine took about like 15. Final Fantasy is beautiful. Oh, the Rebirth? Yeah. Oh, there's a new one? Oh, nice. Sean's all about those video games, man. <laughs> I never Final Fantasy, honestly. Oh, no, I've been... Whole audience. I, I've been hell diving for a month straight, and I just had to come up for air every so often and remember to like play my arcades every every now and again. So, what level are you? Uh, I'm I'm not max level yet. I'm like I'm somewhere I'm like 26, I think, right now. Holy shit! I'm um, still at like level five. I haven't picked it up in like three weeks. Ah, <laughs> I, I only started. It, like I played it for a couple days, and then WWE 2K24 came out, and I just been jamming on that. But well, I, I, was, I need to get back and I need to help save democracy. You do. I, I, I had a circle of friends who were constantly pinging me like, not like, hey, when you got to get it. But they're also the ones like, hey, are we diving tonight? Who's online right now? And it's like, it's the push from the, the social pressure to jump on and, you know, save Super Earth. I don't have any of that. So I just have to jump on and play. So and half the time I get kicked out because I'm not fucking I'm like a level five. Nobody wants to play with a level five, <laughs> you know? It's a fun yeah. ass game, though, isn't it? It's fun. Oh, it's fun super fun. Yeah, yeah, it's super fun. I love the co op. I love the 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 social network, uh, social part to it. Uh, the only downside is that it's maxes out of four players. So, yeah. like right now, it's real hot, and you want to play with friends, and it's like, you know, four three other friends. That's all you get. So, Ray, Ray you should get it on Steam so the three of us can play. Because it's cross platform. No, that's gonna eat up my my productivity, man. I'm already like a slacking as it is. Listen, yeah, when it's eleven thirty at night on a Friday, are you really that productive besides watching porn and cartoons? No, eleven thirty <laughs> at night. Uh, I'm usually out on Friday. Actually, remember, I go out to my social mixers and stuff. All right, how about a Saturday? Then it's porn. Then it's porn. <laughs> hey, Joe, I used to be able to highlight comments. Why can't I do that anymore? I don't know. Because you're are you logged in? Uh, are you, yeah, you logged in through the Steam yard. Oh, I'm not. That's why. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nope. Oh, see, we'll see, yeah, it. We'll see in two minutes, Brad. Oh, yeah. it, when, it click, when you click try to log in, it'll kick you out. I, I have to log in before we start the stream, actually. That was stupid. Right. All right, I'm out, too. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if anyone, did anyone, everyone uh, see my uh, new wall PC build? I'm super proud of that. I'm, I'm going to shout out the um, the guys on Etsy again. If you if you haven't seen it, check it out on my channel. It's really It's a really nice wall PC. I'm, I'm like, pull, pull the video, Ray. Let's play the video right now. Pull the video. Uh, yeah, what else okay. do we got to do? Pull up the video. Let's talk Let's about see. it. How should we play? How can I pull up the video? I guess I can pull up my YouTube, right? Yeah, pull up your YouTube, share the screen. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll make share, it full screen. Share screen. I haven't watched the video myself yet, so this is perfect time to watch it. Okay, cool. So yeah, watch it and then you can mute it. We can talk about it or you yep. can talk about it live okay. with us. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's click this. So, sure. I'm and for those of you just tuning in, we're completely unscripted. We're sorry if we offend you. We do swear. So just nothing racist. 
We swear, we drank, but we just tried not to be boring. That's but it. we've been yeah. boring before too. So yeah, right, there's uh, been a point where we were so drunk we just giggled for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was one of our best shows. <laughs> YouTube guys, Eric, what's up, YouTube guy? Okay, cool. Oh, uh, you're trying to do the same thing I'm doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. How All right, you Red, you're in charge of highlighting. I'm not going to do it anymore. Right, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, YouTube guy, what's up? All right, so all right, can you guys see it? Uh, hang on, I got to sorry, got to put it in studio. There you go. All right, there you go. So that's uh, that on the top right is obviously my new wall-mounted PC. Uh, everything has been redone so that there's only one cable going from the bottom to the left down and then back up through that white cube. Well, what is your desk doing? Did it just raise up on its own? It's yes. a standing desk. It's an electric sixty. Uh, it's an electric uh, sixty-five inch desk. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> Here's from the beginning. All right. Uh, in the back, I'm using the new uh, Govi Hexa Ultra. It has like three dimensions of color now. You got the edges, the inside, outside, all can light up individually. All right. I got two new white speakers. I took it off the wall because the wires were bothering me. And then now there's no more PC. The PC went to Raul. So then. Um, now the bottom is just storage for my karaoke boxes and stuff, just to clean up more space. Wow, that's I mean that's a way to utilize wall space right there, and just utilize space in general for a PC. I got cement walls, so I can't. I'm in the because I'm in the basement. I can't do something like that. Yes, you can. My wall is cement board. Just two. No, stores. I'm I'm straight up cinder block cement, bro. I'm in the basement. Yeah, you can. You can mount it. Just two. You can, you'd have to anchor it. Yeah, but you can't. Oh, like I'm not doing harder. that. Yeah, it, I have this fear in my head that if oh, I drill okay. a hole okay. in the wall, oh. water's going to start pouring in. You know. <laughs> So now Look at that. Up. Look at that thing lift up like that. I've never seen a desk do that before, dude. It's like a Terminator. Yeah, but the desks are like like 100 bucks these days for like uh, electric lift desk. Is it? Oh, well, I mean, yeah. I have no reason to have an electric lift it's desk. It's just going to be a like, like I, I, just put, I just put it high so that I stand up straight now. Otherwise, I start slouching a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a health thing. They have them at, at a lot of offices, you know. So, yeah, also, so, you, so, you don't look, so you don't look like that guy from fucking uh, South Park that's playing yeah. Warcraft. That's the guy. Yes. Oh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the guy that was uh, winning the whole game. So, yeah, I actually mounted a marquee here. And you put an LCD screen inside it? That's the marquee. Yeah, I put an LCD marquee, the 15-incher. 15, uh, 15 I hit the um, control board behind the marquee, uh, uh, behind the whole metal uh, plate. All the wires are hidden, uh, and it's fully modular. So I can take off the plexiglass in the front. And then if I want to change RAM, I can just swap it right in front. I don't have to open up anything anymore. I can just replace the motherboard and sell it off right away. So this is pretty much going to be my permanent case, but the components will upgrade with time, of course. Damn. Yeah, and it access my marquee. Or it, uh, if I'm not on Launchbox, I can have it as, like, you know, uh, just artwork or um, whatchamacallit, like CPU monitoring. Right. But it's way, it's way nicer than having the marquee under my... Uh, my my regular monitor now is less wires, you know, and everything mm -hmm. fiber optic cables now. So it's got to be uh, to bypass a 15 feet length issue. Oh, yeah. So HDMI display port. If you don't do um, the man with the eyebrows is here. Uh oh, look out. Optic, yeah, you're, you're going to get signal drops easily. That's too great. That's sexy, dude. That is super. Right? Sexy. Yeah, that's I think that's super sexy. It's super split. 150 bucks shipped. You, you got a crazy. Awesome setup going on there. So I was actually going to say for the, the new build that me and Vic will be doing, I was going to say, let's put a mini ITX router that's inside the cabinet with a door on the bottom so I can just reach in and like upgrade shit easily. So you want Is a mini ITX like, that like more expensive than cabinet? the regular stuff? Yeah. Not really. It's like, it's like 40. Am I thinking micro? Am I thinking micro mm -hmm. ITX? No. Actually, yeah, that's supposed to be cheaper, isn't it? A mini yeah. ITX is a little bit more expensive sometimes. But actually, not, not anymore because it's uh it's limited to two sticks of RAM and uh, less ports. But you get a much smaller size. So what is a yeah? Mini but it's also mini like it's almost like almost close to double the price of uh, no, 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 not double. Really? I remember looking like at like hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, I remember like Linus Tech Tips made like the the Xbox One size like two terabyte. Oh, no, that's there. years ago. Now it's it's all caught up. So like um like this ATX board was like. 300, but a mini ITX version that's like two actually. Hmm. So prices have all caught up now. So how much did you pay for that mini ITX board? 200 bucks. This one is is full ATX actually because I'm since I got the space, I might as well do full size, full power. This how was much like, was your board? Hmm? How much was your ATX board? This one's like three three thirty actually. 
Well, just because yeah. I want it. <laughs> and, and it's because it's white. It is right. white. <laughs> it's a maxed out version. It's a 14700K. And then, uh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries. <laughs> 64 gigs DDR5 RAM. There's like four uh, M.2s in there. And there's a hidden uh, eight terabyte SSD behind the marquee, actually. Before yeah, that, really. that marquee area is meant for mounting hard drives. Mm. I don't use hard drives anymore. So Why do you have four M.2s? Uh, one for my gun build, one for my, um, my C drive, obviously. Uh, one for my main four terabyte arcade build, and one for um, transfers, like one just just moving things. open slot, yeah, cool. yeah, moving things in and out for like um, you know to my <clears throat> PC or to my my TV. So how do you get? To, oh, you have a USB port extension on that. Is that how you get to the USB yeah, port? Yeah, there's a USB C uh, one cable, on, the black one on top, underneath the antenna. That's a USB C optical cable, and then it just goes to a hub, and then that's it. Okay. I just have my two mice and then just a few uh, ports extra for gunfire art testing. Super. That's really nice. But it's pretty, right? It's it's nice, man. Yeah. And you're able to really open nice. up that door fully? Uh, that's the only other trick. Like a door, um, I can I can barely get it open just enough. Um, you're thin enough to slick through it. <laughs> no, it's enough. It, really? It looks like it clears it. it. It it clears enough for me to get back out to my balcony. That's all. all right. That's all you need. Yeah. And then uh, on my desk, I set up a, I, I cleaned it up a bit. That's the hub. And then um, this is a, a wireless power adapter for my phone. Plus it has an AC adapter port at the back. That's from Anchor. It's totally worth it if you're using iPhone or any magnetic charger. And yeah, that's the setup now. Is that cool? Yeah, okay. yeah it's, uh, it's available on Etsy. The guy's from Turkey, but he, he's like, super responsive. He even made me custom shorter legs so my door can clear it. And uh, he didn't even charge me for them, which was yeah. That shit from Turkey. In from Turkey, if oh, you want to get from Europe, there's a European version. It's six hundred dollars for the case. Turkey, like one fifty. Wow. So I'm I not Turkey. Turkish guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Turkish guy. Yeah. Was there any issue with like communication wise translations? He speaks. Race, race speaks all types of language. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's that is true. He but... speaks business. That's all that matters, right? He speaks business. Yeah. yeah. But, that, um, but he, one, he, uh, he speaks perfect English. Two, um, I know the culture there. My mom used to work at a Turkish bank. Granted, they were uh, closed down for political corruption, but that's a different story. Well, that's <laughs> Turkish, right? Yeah. That is a story for another time. <laughs> it actually, like, there was a cop that came to my house to ask her. Like, she got let go because she refused to like um, transfer money that, that they. They um they wanted her to transfer and the cop like did your manager ask you to do this and I was like I was scared shitless <laughs> I, was like, oh, no, I didn't do it that's why they, they let me go that's why I have severance pay. Uh, YouTube guy I did see the new racing simulator lounge but it's um it's team racing only I looked into it I immediately went to their website so you need like a team of three or four guys and it's like a four or five hour um, re reservation. And you, each guy can race 40 minutes at a time, but then you have to rotate. So it's really, it's a real simulation um, lounge is what it is from what I understand. And it's not like an arcade lounge where we can just walk in there and do that. You have to make reservations. You have to pay for it. It's for people that probably rate. We have a speedway here called Lancaster Speedway. Um, so it's probably for people that are at Lancaster Speedway to accommodate to them to practice and learn. So, but yeah, I did see that. And if you did send me an email about it, uh, if you send it in my retro lizard email, uh, I logged out on Friday at three o'clock, so I haven't seen shit. <laughs> what kind of is it like? How many how many simulators do they have? I think they have three or four simulators. Actually, it's a <laughs> it's an actual lounge in a building, um, and it was on the news the other day. That's how I seen it. The the somebody must have called the news to show like an article on it or something, and yeah. they went in the inter they interviewed the the owner of it. It just opened up, um, but they're already they're already booked with reservations. So. Well yeah. How much I mean, interest? I did not look to see how much reservations were, but I'm sure that they were a couple hundred bucks, if not more. I mean, you got your reservations are, I think, I really think it was like four or five hours at a time because you're doing real simulation tracks. Um, you, actually, is, it a, <laughs> is it a full racing sim, like a six axis? Yeah. Here, let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let me let me do. I know when you say when you say reserve four, is that one rig for four people, or you yeah. got to reserve all one, four rigs? One one rig, one race, wow. four people, and you got to rotate. Um, 
increasing sim lounge. There's a place by me, like in PA, that does it. I think it's called Helix Sports. It's a um, esports arena, and then they have like I think six racers. Hey, Eric is here. Our is favorite. Eric. Is this it? Happy, uh, happy, uh, <laughs> zombie Jesus, as Joel says. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> You you think I'm bad with the racing jokes? <laughs> I've work. never heard anybody um, like call it that. <laughs> I'm bad with the uh, with the with the with the Jesus. Oh wow, jokes. that's it. This is it. Oh, so it's a triple curved screen, forty it looks like fifty inch screens or something. It's a real sim rig. Wow. Okay. Motion motion. Screen, it's it's, it's the screen, it's yeah. the the motion debox shit or whatever. It's the uh, same thing that it's the exact same thing that Vic wants to buy. This yeah, song, but this one looks like a. Uh, they sell, I saw this at Microsoft. It's just expensive. No, Micro Center doesn't have the actual six axis. Like the, the chair will actually move. Oh, right. And, and pivot uh, and pitch. These are the these wheels. I don't know if you can see the wheels over here where it says choice oh, of three wheels. Wheel. Yeah. These are these are fan attacks. Ah. Um, or fanatics, however you want to say it. Fan attacks, fanatics. But yeah, this is Fanatec. it's a I like how they have the one picture of the casting couch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want couch. to reserve just to sit on the casting couch. I don't know what they're using to play on. I mean, obviously it's PC, but I don't know what like I don't know what we're, what game you're playing. I actually know. It's I mean, they have iRacing. They're probably right. doing like a set of Corsa. It actually says it right there on the screen. I just noticed it says iRacing What's on the like screen. Our, yeah, that our, yeah. our teaser or whatever it is that's called. So yeah, this is it. Okay. I was never into this, but like, it looks cool. It's cool, but it's expensive. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at a rig. Yeah. I was gonna have a rig from Russia, the DOF three reality. I think the right a here. six axis rig was like four grand, and that's just for the platform. Whoa. So it's create yeah. two sets and credits for the member. Credit does not roll over to the next month. It's seven. Oh, forty five dollars one shot. That's not bad. Um, non member sessions, fifty minute open session, used for practice or you local pay a legit, you're almost paying a dollar a minute. Right. So, but I mean, this is where you know you're, you're they're booked up right here. Wow! Damn. So, yeah. Damn! I'm about to open up a, a sim racing place in New York. <laughs> I mean, if you, it, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It's definitely unique. Not New York. York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. New York is, is <laughs> going to be insane. I don't know how buff how how much Buffalo is going to take on that, but I mean, there. I mean, there's a racing scene here in Buffalo. It's extremely, extremely small, but there's a car scene. The car scene's super underground too. Um. I tried to figure it out when I had my charger to get into the car scene, and I just I couldn't really figure it out, and I couldn't get into the meets. Mm. Um, but Lancaster Speedway is a huge thing, and I mean, if you're racing at Lancaster Speedway in Lancaster, New York, then um, you know you're probably this is where you got to go to to practice on that in the right. wintertime and play. It's so cool. our, our racing season is probably only like six months, five months, depending on depends on how good April and May is. Um, you know, if we keep getting our weather like we have now and it starts to warm up, then that racetrack's probably going to be open in the next two to three. Oh, track. Okay. Yeah. So I go there. They, they used to have cruise nights there. I would take my charger there for cruise nights and hang out. The cruise night was every Wednesday night. It was from um, 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, I think it was. And it was drag racing. And, um, you know, you just pull up, you pull your car up onto the racetrack and then you park it, pop the hood, you know, play your beats. They had contests. They had a burnout pit. Uh, it was really cool to see some of that shit. They had some cars with hydraulics there a few times. I mean, that was the oh. first time I ever seen cars with hydraulics in person. Like, keep, get the bounce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah like a low rider style. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. It was It was like a, like an Impala low rider. Yeah. Um, it was like the first time I got to see something like that like in person. It was really awesome. What's uh, oh. Dude Arcade talking about over here? Yeah, what, what's the news? What's the good <laughs> news, Dude Arcades? Yeah, what news? Wait, so oh, real so, quick, because you guys are talking about Walking Dead. How long is Walking Dead? Like, how long have you played play it yet? I played one. I didn't play it all the way through. I played, like, 30 right? seconds to make sure. Oh, I... no. no. <laughs> Easter oh. Dude's arcade. My dick has risen? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? My, did, you, did you know my dick has risen? <laughs> <laughs> Only hey, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on. It's Easter. It's Easter. How much How much does Jesus love you? How much does Jesus love you? You want to know how much? 
this much. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Get it took me a second, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look, I'm Jewish now. I'm converted. I was raised Catholic with a Bible thrown in my face. I have. I did not know that. that. I, I didn't know. Priests and wow. a nun in my family. I made my communions. I made my first penance. I made my confirmation. I had to go to fucking church every Sunday. I had to go to Sunday school through fucking high school. I fucking hate it being Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I hate going to church. I can't stand it. I, I cannot stand going to church. I never did. I just was never into it. And um, when I converted to Judaism, it was the greatest thing ever. Wow. Because we drink wine on Fridays. We don't give a shit. We don't have to go to church or temple or anything like that. You can worship at home. There's no obligations to any of that shit. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not throwing anybody in this face or whatever. Yeah. I, just, I don't like being a Catholic. I never was a good Catholic anyway. So, fucking dude, with the way I was in my 20s, if I walked into a fucking church, there'd be a fucking lightning bolt out of the clear. <laughs> You'd be on fire. No, I'm a fuck. I, dude, I was a cocksucker in my 20s. <laughs> Well, so I didn't know that you converted. Time. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My wife is Jewish, and we had a whole conversation after we got married before we had kids because she's like, she wants, she wants to raise the kids Jewish, and I'm like, well, I don't fucking like being Catholic, anyways. <laughs> but then also, but also the what, what clicked in my head is is that I was Catholic and she was Jewish. Um, and, you know, when we're dead, we can't be buried in the same cemetery. So, oh, and I can't get I cremated. That. And go to a Jewish cemetery, and she can't get cremated and come to a Catholic cemetery because of the Holocaust. Um, so I'm like, I'll just fucking convert. Like, what's the big deal? You know, I'm not gonna no make idea. her convert. I'm like, I'm just gonna convert. What's the big deal? So I just converted. You know, I'll call it a day. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. It's the same as being Asian. You, so we, when we I make when I on Fridays all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So look, when I'm when I make Jewish jokes. Or when I make fucking Jesus jokes, look, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> I have experience. Position of authority. Yeah. So. There's, dude, there's so many churches in Buffalo that are just shut down now. There used to be a church on wow. every corner. Like, there was a bar and a church and a pizzeria at one point on every corner. Now it's just a bar and a pizzeria. Wow. Well, priorities. Oh, in, priorities. <laughs> in, Flush, in Flushing, there's, a, there's a, a Hindu temple and a whorehouse, like, right next to each other. Also oh. priorities. Also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, since we're talking about racing, uh, Joe, show off the new pedal. Oh, the pedal. It's, 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 right. it's not related to racing. Oh, no, this is the the new retro lizard pedal that I've been talking about. It's not a racing pedal. It's not yeah. a racing pedal. This is the Lycan pedal. The shooter pedal. The shooter yeah. pedal. Did you get the spring? It's got the springs in it. They're, they're compression springs. Whoa. Yeah. So we may we uh, for contrast purposes we'll probably make two different colors for the top because this uh, is hard to show up on camera. Wow, that looks well, solid. I mean, I'll make two different colors for the top because I'm the one fucking <laughs> it over here. Got a 10-foot cable. I put a red cable on it. I'm just printing mine black. Um, I'm not really planning to change anything else. I'm just going to print it black. This is solid. With the screws in it, it's got some weight to it. Like, it's probably a good actually like, did, did you Did you actually put, like, your full body, like, one foot up in the air? Like, is no, it yeah, that? Yeah, I'll do it right now. Like, I didn't stand on it. Yeah, but it's not like we can see this on video. Man, you, you could just be jerking off, and we would it's be. True. Yeah. Now, oh, Joe, nice. Joe, describe the materials used on that. This is hyper PLA, so it's it's not regular PLA. It is a hyper PLA, and it is more of a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like a it's a better it's a better version like of durable? a PLA. It's more durable PLA too. I have to use hyper PLA because I have a hyper speed kit on my Race 3D. I can't use any other PLA right now unless I switch to not. Really. I oh, can switch the nozzles. The, sw the nozzles on my on my rays, they just unclick and click in. So they're they're completely interchangeable very easily. I don't have to take the whole fucking thing apart like you usually do on like a regular 3D printer. Um, so I can use regular PLA, but to print the the top or even like the base, that's like 13 hours on right. regular PLA. So I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking do that when I got the hyper kit. So, okay. so no, Eric, we no, may no, need no. to make a, a top sheet for this if it if it works. Oh, click click uh, click it a few times in front of the mic so we can hear the, the satisfying you know switch. I heard it. It's quiet. It's not hard. It sounds like a micro switch. Yeah. It's a rolling leaf micro switch inside it. Oh, okay, yeah. This, this... So how are you how are you integrating this pedal into the software wise? Is this uh, being picked up by Joy to Key or is it going right no. into? Uh... So the way the pedals work, the way that Ray taught me how to set them up and the way that he set them up with the Gunfire software is you just set the pedal to the keyboard letter L and R. 
That's it. And then in the mole shooter, um, you, you click on the virtual mouse and then you set the bottom one to L. And then yeah, on player right. two, yeah. you set it to R. Yep. And then in, in MAME, you just double map your B your player one button one. Um, which is not the trigger. I'm sorry, player one button two, because player yes. one button one is a trigger. So button two, you just double map it and to L so and to your side or. button, and then you're golden. And with the mool shooter, since 99% of my games run on the mool shooter, except for the 10 raw input techno parrot games. Everything is you click on it to reload. Everything's pedal reload. Yeah. Um, but with those with those signal pair games, you just set those raw input buttons to the keyboard letter L. Correct. Right. R, and then you're good. You're good to go. Yeah. So, so in shooter games, you can have double. You can have gun gun button or pe or pedal working at the same time. Right. Techno parrot is you you got to pick one. That's the only bummer part. Yeah. It's yeah. the only bummer about techno parrot. Yeah. But everything yeah. else is it's either side button or pedal. Or off screen reload if it's an off screen reload game like Area Fifty One, but yeah, uh, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna have these up. I'm gonna do them for two fifty shipped, uh, yeah. but so I'm gonna have stock. Yeah. I'm not I'm not posting them until I have stock, so I have to print. And I'm probably only gonna have like I'm I'm only gonna sell them in pairs. It's only gonna be pairs, so two pedals at a time for two fifty. That's shipped. pretty cheap. That's it, yeah. That's I mean, uh, it's it's a three D printed pedal. It's very it's from what I have here. It's very durable. It's a premium PLA that I'm using. This isn't cheap shit. It's not going to crack. Well, it doesn't feel like it's going to crack, at least. And it's a pedal. We're not banging it, right? We're yeah. just stepping up. No, that's why I... You know how these people are. You know, yeah. just, it's some, some kid's going to stand on it and dance on it. Well, it's But if it breaks, I got to buy a new one. That's it. it it's going to be more durable than the Arcade 1-Up pedal, I can tell you that. Oh, I don't, um, I don't and, even know that's why. Or even the gas pedal for Arcade 1-Up. It's got compression springs. So the springs are right here. They're compression. Uh, they're very nice, and they give a nice pressure on it as you're pushing it. Like I feel like I'm pushing one of Ray's pedals that he made. The time crisis. Pedal. Is that the spring you said was like ten bucks? Yeah. Wow. We'll we'll get that down a bit. That that that's just because of the logistics. Well, of it. it was ten bucks for four of them, but okay. and then the the fifty pack of compression springs they weren't they're not going to be here for another three weeks. Oh. So I bought the fifty pack for fifteen dollars, but I got to wait three weeks, and I, I wanted them now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, we will actually uh, switch over to um, using GP twenty forty uh, for the yeah. board, so that um, it doesn't have a gamepad mode that interferes with Jay configure some other possible right. uh, interference. I used an Adreno board inside that, and I soldered it for the first time. Thanks, Ray, for giving me some pointers on that because I haven't soldered in like nine years. <laughs> um, really appreciate that. And he taught me, he walked me through the Adreno board too, because it was the first time I ever did something like that in the first place. Um, but we're going to, with Ray's recommendation, we're going to switch to that JP2040 board. And that's already has keyboard, keyboard inputs in it. There's no firmware involved with it because it has its own firmware built in. Um, you just log into its own thing and you just change the letter on the button that you solder. That's right. it. So, that, to, to, yeah, so that's where you can transition. I just want to show you guys, like, Every time we do a, a show like this, I want to show off some cool, useful things. So this is uh, a simple wave share Arduino, really tiny. Like like this is my thumb. You know, put, I, I don't have my condoms on me, otherwise I would use it for scale. But yeah, <laughs> this, it's like super tiny. And there's a software now called a GP 040 for fight sticks, and it's an open source program that will allow you to use very low cost, like under ten dollar Arduino boards as uh, arcade sticks, okay? But the cool part is it can also be used as a keyboard encoder. So you have like 20 buttons or something, like 15 buttons, I think, I would say eight, six, uh, no, 14 buttons that can be configured into uh, any keys you want. Essentially, we're gonna use this for pedals, we're gonna use this for control boxes, for gun boxes, um, I'm probably going to end up using that JP2040 on my retro gun box too because yeah. it does the X input mode. And it does native X input and it has the lowest latency of any board on the market, including Brooks, apparently, which is quite incredible. And, and you can, can buy them with pre soldered headers for like uh, $25. Or if you want, you can solder it yourself with wire. Yeah. Now, here's a question, Ray. When you did X input mode, did you check the X input mode on it? Of course. Okay, now when you did that, because you you said that you can map it when in keyboard mode, you can map it up to two players, right? Because you can change the yes, keyboard. Yes, X input you can. One. Oh, X input you can't. All right, so maybe I won't use that on the gun boxes in X input mode. 
I'll use it on the I use it on the Windows version of the gun box. Yes, not the bottle Sarah one. The bottle Sarah right, one. The bottle Sarah really one. Useless, yeah. Yeah, the bottle Sarah one. I'll use that with with an iPad encoder then too. Correct. So, so. Uh, if anyone who's watching now doesn't know what the gun box is, it's going to be a new product that Joel has. Uh, we haven't made a full like demo video of it yet, but it will essentially be a box with two holsters for your gun fry R or whatever guns that you may be using. Oh, yeah. It's going to have navigation buttons. And then uh, there's going to be two options. One that has a mini PC built in, like a Bottle Sarah uh, mini PC, and one that will plug into your regular PC. So if yeah, you're playing TV and you just want guns, that's that's going to be the way to do it. Uh, we yeah, got it. one right here. So the layout that we're looking at, so you can see that on the screen here, you have the we're looking at the white lines here is what we're looking at, right? So on the top left, we have coin and start. On the right side, we have coin and start. And then we have up, down, enter exit and then the gun holsters right here where you stick the guns in which if you look on the right that's exactly what it looks like on the right side what you're right. looking at right now though this is the portable retro gun box which is the um the batisera version mm -hmm. i didn't do the windows version yet uh the first person that is shotgun sean got this one the punisher one in the video he got the first one to do it shotgun sean mm -hmm. do a review for me <laughs> uh, i was just gonna say just send that out like did somebody get it and i, I guess sean got it I sent it to Sean. Yeah, I told you. Well, Sean, so I was going to send Sean a retro gun box back at Christmas time um, as a gift because I, I haven't gifted him anything yet. I gifted Rascal stuff. I gifted other people stuff. Shotgun Sean never got anything for me. So at Christmas time, I'm like, hey, bro, I'll just give you a gun box. And we were bullshitting the one day. And he was like, no way. And then like two weeks went by and I didn't do anything yet. And I got or I didn't send it to him yet. And I got that CNC machine. Yeah. And the first thing in my head off that CNC machine was this gun box. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, bro, hang on. You're just hold out for me, and you're gonna get the um, what do you call it, the prototype version of my retro gun box that I'm gonna do, and stick this inside it so you have something for it. So he held out for me, and that's what he got. Um, Carlos Seamart, the entertainer, um, he is going to get um, the Windows version. He's gonna get the first Windows version. He's gonna oh. get this. He's gonna get this Resident Evil version um, that I drafted up over here too. That's gonna be the first one. Technically, so, it's, any version. it's not just Windows. It can be used on anything that takes a keyboard. It can be, yeah. So it's when it's going to be Windows. It's you can switch the X input. You can switch it to X input mode if you want to. Uh, but it's going to be the way that I'm setting it up, though. Is it's going to be? It's not like the portable gun box where it has the PC inside it and then it has, just has two USB extenders and an HDMI extender. This isn't going to have the the Windows version isn't going to have that. The Windows version is just going to be uh, wired up with the iPad encoder and the buttons on the inside of it. And then I, I purchased um, their female to female USBs. So there's going to be three ports yeah. on the back. And it, one of them is going to be a dual port for your guns. And it's basically just an extension. But it's like a, um, it's a, it's a 30 millimeter screw in extension is what it is. So um, the two USB ports will go into the extension on the back. And then you have to buy like two USB cables to plug it into your PC. And then the other port, the third port, is going to be for the iPad encoder. And you're going to need a third USB cable for that to plug into your PC. I'm probably going to end up supplying the cables for that just because. Um, I'll end up probably probably supplying 8 feet or 10 feet cables for it. Yeah. So that's going to be completely different. There's going to be no power cord coming out of it. Um, the only power you're going to have coming out of it is going to be just the USBs. That's it. Okay, so, but I'm going to convince you. I, bet, I will convince you to do the, the hub setup inside. So that it's one cable. No, I'm not going to. Come because on, dude, hubs. No, hubs fail. Hubs fail. I'm nah. sorry, I've never. I don't. I don't have luck with hubs. Hubs fail. I'm not. Using a hub and I, I'm not and I'm not using a powered hub because I'm not putting. Uh, I'm not putting power inside of it. I'm not. It's just it's straight up Windows PC, and we don't need to do a hub when we have to plug it into the computer anyways. So I'm just gonna use three USB extensions. Keep it simple. You, yeah, keep it simple. You need an extension, or you need separate USB inputs for the guns too. What about if somebody's using a send and light gun? The send and light gun doesn't run off the hub. It oh, won't. that's the problem. The send. Yeah, you, you you always forget. Uh, I do this for every <laughs> light gun on the market, not just gun for our. Yeah, right, right, right. Every light gun on the issue, right? That'll right. Be, yeah, I, I'm global, yeah, man. I'm completely right, global. Right. He's so, an inclusionist. So. Yeah, exactly. I got to cater to I got to cater to everybody, right, right, right. Right. No, even no, those no. shitty yeah. fucking retro shooters. Yeah, right. <laughs> except except AE. So. 
fucking that. So, fucking okay, fucking so that. what I was talking about was doing what I. This is from my new stick from Scanline City. Look how pretty. That looks good. This that is the nice. metal engraved stick that uh, Jonathan Thompson and his uh, metal guy Christian made me. They're they're actually movie producers and they 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 built like sticks, like really luxury sticks, on the like their own business. It's very nice. Yeah. Here I have one USB C. Why do you have so many buttons on the back? So, uh, coins start uh, home, and then this is standard fight stick layout. They all have, a, and then the other side is L3, the R3, R3 uh, extra. So this one, yeah, it's more like like menu navigation. Yeah, there's two nav, there's two USBs on the front for guns, and it goes one USB C out to the PC, and it has a GP2040 inside, so it can actually act as keyboard mode or X input. You don't even have to unplug. You press these three buttons one shot, and it switches modes just like that. I don't like the buttons. And on the in back. keyboard mode, it does D pad up, down, left, right. I have player one start. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, you have your camera flipped. Yeah, I, I know. It's it's very. Yeah, flip <laughs> the camera the other way. I'm like I'm like Ray's over here or righty on the joystick. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, See, I told you the flipping is weird. Like, that's is like that my. Really, I had a customer like that that wanted a control panel just like that with the, the right stick the on the right. You're, you're the the camera still flipped. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's like, the only from south of the uh, equator. It's everything reversed. <laughs> you okay, can't so, move, man. So this is a full metal top that's engraved. He engraved it with black and white with my design. Uh, there's a plexi on top, of course. The carriage bolts have no screw holes on, uh, no no. Yeah, no, it's underneath. like a bolt underneath. Yeah, it's all. And then I, I had him add two pinball buttons on the side, but in X input mode, I have them mapped to my triggers so that there will be pinball, right? I can play pinball here, but in keyboard mode, they're mapped to one and two, so that when right. someone plays, they can just slap the side, and it's going to be a gun box. And then on the front, there's coin buttons. Uh, there's tab exit. Up, down, left, right, enter, backspace. I even mapped um, the hotkeys to do control B to enter big box in keyboard mode. Because we're not going to play fight stick in keyboard mode. We're going to use X input. Yeah. And inside is running a three to one splitter. So I have uh, the two hubs in the back and the encoder board going into three USBs, going into a three to one splitter, not a hub, a splitter. And then the USB C going to go right out. A USB C uh, 3.1 uh, panel mount, which is this. This is like eight bucks, right? Cheap. Okay. Yeah. It's 10 gigabits. And then, um, yeah, it, it can, I tested it thoroughly. I can have two guns working at one shot and um, one box. And it's wireless, right? This is not wireless. I could have made it wireless, but because the guns have to be wired anyway, that I felt like that was a moot point. Gun box, yeah. So. Yeah, gun, because I I have another stick that's that's already in the back of the box. I haven't built yet, but um, that one will be wireless. The only thing I'm thinking about going back to Joel's pedal, if Joel could add like an extra compartment in the rear, and we make it, I mean, not we, him or me, I like I would ask Joel send me one, and I would look into doing it wireless. Like nice. battery, put a battery pack, you charge it, and then get his wireless Brooks board no. and wireless it. No use. Brooks board wireless uh, sends a uh, gamepad key. You want key. you just take a wireless keyboard pedal from Amazon for like 30 bucks, and you're just reshelling it, basically. But okay. the problem with that is we have to add a USB a panel mount or something so that we can charge it. Right. And then we also have to. We also have oh, to Bluetooth uh, it, like a Bluetooth keyboard. It's a Bluetooth pedal, but the problem is we also have to add a pairing button now. It can't just it, like you know. You have mean? to if you just if you just plug in the Bluetooth dongle to the to the computer. No, there's no dongle. Uh, there's a oh, the, that's two point four gigahertz. What? That so works. if you just plug in a Bluetooth, if you wire it up like a Bluetooth keyboard, and you just plug in the Bluetooth dongle to the PC, you right. can plug in two of those. And it'll it's just uh, giving off one it's just giving off one input. I've done it already, but uh, that dongle is actually very weak. Like you can't get more than like five feet or so. You're not going to be playing any more than five feet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, my my only thing, my only the only like, but again, going back to, I mean, right? You said that there was like a wasn't there a wireless like what you have there, but it's wireless, not a Brooks board. Yeah. But... There's a wireless fight stick board, right? Um, but that only sends, that doesn't send keyboard keys. That sends gamepad keys. What do you That's got, Brad? The most shooter can't what? do that. There's what? wireless keyboard. Um, there's what? A, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
That looked wireless. <laughs> <laughs> you call that a gun? <laughs> <laughs> that no, yeah. a Put that down before we get flat. Oh, what? <laughs> all right, right, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, that's I'm the only thing I would I yeah, would want to test a wireless and then test the latency because again it's just a pedal, and then that's it. Now the only other second question I would ask Joel is if there's if there's a way for you to split that pedal into two. I'm sure yeah. there is, but you would need designer to do that. Have two separate that one pedal, but it's two buttons. Time oh, you mean make it make it one whole piece? With two with two pedals on it, so yeah. Double pedal. Which I mean, you could do. You could just make two. But I'm saying that that pedal you have is pretty not girthy, but it looks like the size of like my keyboard. It is. So if it's you could cut it, it your what keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably eight inches, eight to ten inches. It's the size of a. It's 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 the size of a normal pedal. The race time crisis pedals. Right. I don't know where you come from. Those aren't normal pedals where I come from. Normal pedals are the six or seven best. It's, like, <laughs> it's the same size as the time price. Like five. Right. Here. It, but what I'm saying, well, yeah, no, it's honestly, yeah, no, you're better off. I'm, I'm just thinking time price is five. That's all I'm thinking about. Time price so, is five pedals are very hard to make. Like, what do you it, can, what do you, what we can, what I could do is I can do this, I can do that one of two ways. I can make a, um, I could, I could weld it. Um, yeah, I like you can just use it. it. Yeah. So what I could do is I can make a spacer in between it and then i can resin weld it to the sides and then <clears throat> that's solid piece if it's resin welded it's not coming off at all i don't know if you guys right. ever tried that before i had to do that with a with a couple of the helmets that i broke wow. <laughs> but i mean you just put you just take your pla resin for for a resin printer and you just brush it on and put it under a uv light and it's hard within 10 seconds you know it's faster than viagra Somebody was gonna go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually did like uh, metal time presses five pedals uh, that I had like custom fabricated. That was a giant pain in the ass. The shipping was bad. Like Eric actually took him to get powder coated and do all the special. I'm not doing that again. It was too much work. How like, big I, was that? How big was that pedal? It was about like 14 inches wide. It, it's the same size oh. as original time presses five, but I had a powder coated white and gloss black. Wow. And it cost like two, three hundred dollars of labor, and and Eric didn't even charge me. That was just that's just as a friend, like that that was a lot. And I told him, and I was like, no, this this is not worth it to, to make this small money. Um, oh, uh, Jim Pacto, I have seen, but Pacto, you can't remap the keyboard keys, so they they're use hard set. They're, they're hard set meme standard layout. Isn't it, that it, what? Uh, isn't Sharkade using that now? Yes, for four players is great because it saves a little bit of money. But the G right. twenty forty now, they actually have a function that if you're using more than one GP twenty forty, you can hard set the X input player number now. So, for example, if I got two right. in my arcade, I can set one to play one, one to player two, and it'll be permanent player one and two. You see, so, I don't think that using an X input globally on an arcade is even convenient in the first place, unless you don't plan to use controller-based games that have analog controls at all I don't. in the system. Yeah. So that's the only that, that's the only downfall to it. If you're using an X input-based system for a four-player layout on an arcade machine, uh, for four-player arcade sticks and buttons, then when you go to plug in, you're going to have to set controller number five to your GameCube, your Nintendo 64, yeah. stuff like that. You're going to right. lose your analog-based games. So, Unless you're buying the Ultimark, um, um, the, the Ultimark stick, what is it? The, the uh, What's the name of the stick? The Mag stick? The Mag stick, yeah. That's a that's an actual analog stick. Eh, so It's it's fake. It's supposed analog. to be. It's supposed yeah. to be analog. No, the, not the Mag stick. Not the Mag stick. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. It is an analog stick. It's like a digital one. Right. So, I mean, unless you're using yeah. something like that, but it's like a $70 or $80 arcade stick. Yeah. So, the price not worth is not it. an issue. The, the, the issue is, it. do you really want to play console games with a joystick? Yeah. Just, I get people, people want to play Grand Theft Auto, right? They want to play GTA not. Vice City, yeah, on arcade sticks. He's not, which is just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I get that yeah. request. It's stupid. Okay. You can add it. Playing it, that way, it's it's stupid. It's, you can drive the car, but how are you gonna how are you gonna handle the trigger the, the gas and brakes? So you, now, you you now need a twelve button arcade those, panel layout. Yeah, those <laughs> fucking lunatic guys are putting Grand Theft Auto on a racing wheel. <laughs> Wait, why not? Grand Theft Auto. Oh, that's like those guys that want to play first person shooters on a gun cabinet. Right. Yeah. 
stupid. That, that's not, I can't even play Resident Evil. There, there is one light gun that has that analog stick, so it, it, it does not. play out. <laughs> Only one. Only fucking one. <laughs> Only one. And then the sending, the sending gun has a fucking D-pad to it. When the, dude, that D-pad is so uncomfortable to use. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Like that. Like, it's uh, the one on the side of the front, but uh, the gun con too has a D pad, but it's nice on the back. It's for your thumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Let's, let's, let's see, look, if, if the fucking shooter's not on the rail, it's not a fucking light gun game. Yeah. Right? That's it's the uh, retro shooter, not analog. It's actually just, it's actually just a it's eight an eight way. way. Yeah. yeah. There's no, right. there's no degrees of movement there. Oh no, no. Wait, wait. Which one's it's analog? Four way. It, no, uh, it, I think it's, I think it's four way. That the yeah, there's, there's no shooter isn't the retro no shooter isn't No, it's an eight way because you can you can use it with a Wii game and it kind of oh. it kind of works with a Wii game, but it doesn't work correctly with there's the no Wii game. Retro beast would do. There's no like oh this little bit Who's, here. What's a retro beast? I think that's that that company that I sent you in Canada, Chris Kumar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, granted though, yes, there are people that will play GTA specifically the racing on a wheel, but you still need that controller to like move your character to get into the car. Yeah, and both, uh, well, the, there's a D-pad on the on the racing wheel, and that's what they're using for normal. Got to remember, yeah. in this community, we want the most games. I don't care if it plays. I don't care if it launches. Yeah, I need. Yeah. I need nine hundred games. I need eighty thousand games. I need eighty thousand games. <laughs> I need eighty thousand. I need a hundred and I can't fathom that the yeah. the. I mean, I get if somebody has like a hundred and twelve terabytes. Do you know like the power supply you need to just run? And not to mention they definitely have it as just regular standard hard disk drives. It boggles my mind. Look at Ray. Ray's got six M dot twos. Like that's fucking money. <laughs> but it's not 112 terabytes. No, but you need what a fifteen hundred watt power supply. You know a lot. You know a lot. And you know what the best. Guys- <clears throat> yeah, I, I gotta tell you guys the 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 multi like so on the bigger topic of the multi are these d- drives they call them drives oh I want the drive it's yeah. a multi you plug in a computer you have a multi the the this this massive mega beast arcade that's gonna play literally everything console games and Atari games and whatever and this is this arcade games um my uh one of my early builds in 2020 was I modified it a Star Wars trilogy arcade one up and it played Star Wars games. Right. That's it. And just Star Wars games that use the yoke. That thing has, I think, eight games on it, maybe mm-hmm. like maybe nine. And I played that more than I play my Raspberry Pi 4 with 3,000 games on it. Because right. I can just scroll through that forever. And then yep. when I'm done scrolling, I'm tired now. I never actually play anything on it. <laughs> yep. You know? true. How, what you also, have a curated list. Dude, true. What, what? I'm, I'm not ragging on the 112, but... What's on 112 terabytes, dude? So, it be a like, all filler. Is it is it the is it the entire like two three thousand Nintendo Switch library? Because it, look, Xbox 360, a little bit. Xbox 360 is is eight terabytes. Xbox or PS3 is eight terabytes. Yeah, I have PS PS3 <laughs> on me is eight terabytes. 360 yeah. is eight terabytes. My Switch is. 2.5 terabytes and you don't have the entire library oh, uh, PC i is- stopped after like right. um I, game what game. Ga- I think after like a, a mario game came out or uh i basically stopped updating switch because right. honestly switch games you're better off playing right. it on a modded switch than right and everything you know, before- yuzu yuzu's gone now but you know but everything it's- before 360 and ps3 which granted play okay there's still emulations issues with those emulators they're not 100 percent perfect and there's a lot of crashing going on with it so it's not that worth it having them on an arcade but everything before that and not counting the nintendo switch everything before that is two terabytes maximum for a library the, maybe. yeah PS2, i would say like Xbox, i think like my ps2 is about like Xbox. two terabytes right um, and, yeah. and then nintendo wii is about right, and the, the, so the the big thing with it's like one twelve, and again going way back from when I started, somebody gave me Chris Shaw's drive, and it's just like the Panasonic of fucking te- yeah. Texas Instruments. That's where right. all that bullshit adds up. There was something on there called I had one where it had something called Dragon ST, and I'm like I don't even know what this is. Like, yeah, nobody knows moving it. it. Yeah, like, That's like a, one of those personal this. computers. Probably right. something right. Eastern Europe or something. Again, those that. things people people look at the game count and like, oh, this one's got two hundred thousand games. I'm set for life. And then, like I said, 
You're you going to play Texas Instruments? See. Texas Instruments apparently has like 100 games. Like what? What the f- no, it's like, like, my mega. It emulates Snake on your calculator, your graphing calculator. Right. Right. That's yeah, what it is. is. This is why I like my mega. I mean, no offense to I mean Vic 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 does fucking premium fucking megas, dude. If you my want mega, honest, but just to just to, to to give myself a pat on the back, all my stuff is main systems. Right. right. I'm not gonna have some random bullshit. So I'm right now at like 42 terabytes. Right. And I'm only really downloading like PC games. That's what's really now adding on after 42. Exactly. That's so it. Tekken, with- Tekken 8 is an 80 gig game. That's insanely it's crazy, huge. right? What yeah. I did, I, I kept my mega out at the 20 terabyte drive, but I have two and a half to three terabytes of open space on that drive so that people can play their Steam games or create a Steam account and then continue to purchase new games and remove and delete from there so that they can have a Steam account. If you're going oh to fill up, are we in the era of bloatware on, <laughs> on arcade products? You know? Yeah. 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 Oh my god, we like, are. You know, like, oh wow, I got this thing. What is this? Oh, 20 versions of Mahjong. Uh like it's oh, forget. that's my oh. MAME. MAME used to have that. That's why I gotta be very careful when I update MAME because you get Mahjong up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mahjong and something else. I forgot what else. Like not not even slot machines, but it's just no. such crap. Well, what, Mahjong, Mahjong is my lethal enforcers for those fucking gun drives that say that they got <laughs> over 500 light gun games on it, which they do, but they don't really have over 500 light gun games because you don't need 11 versions of fucking lethal enforcers. Yeah. You don't. And all, as I said, for my drive, if you remove the 360 and the PS3, right. and like I said, emulation is still that's being developed, so the emulator is not going to launch right all there. the games, that's already 16 terabytes out. Right. So you're going from 42 less 16. Or you could trim the fat off the PS2 or the, or the PS3 and the Xbox 360 games. Once you get it, trim the fat that right. you don't want to play or that you're never going to play, and boom. I never really had anybody that bought a drive and then deleted games. They I might have, have removed it from Hyperspin's list, right? But I've never had somebody go like, "I don't need this like control delete permanently delete." Um, yeah, I have. I've had. I've had, especially light guns. Um, I've had a couple customers that went through and they trimmed the fed off the light guns. Like they got rid of the American laser. They got rid of the fucking wall action masks. So do I. It's I'm only not, people requested demand. though, dude. People like yeah. that time. That's like I, I grew the, up on that. I'm like, all right. The demand is there for it to be on there. So, dude, like fucking Star Wars trilogy is on mine, and I I hate that it's on it. But there's a demand for that game to be on it. And I'm That's like, totally like it, it plays like I, it I plays like one. shit, <laughs> and you can't finish the fucking game. So. What's the point of it even being honest? You can play a few, a few levels and fucking call it a day. You can never beat the game. Yeah. So it's pain in the, it pisses me off that it's on there. And then when people tell me that it doesn't work right, I'm like, dude, it's not a like on game anyways. Just remove it. Yeah. Like it's on there it, out of demand. I'm sorry you can't play it, but it's one game. You got 220 yeah. more. It's funny, like when play. Brad came over on my buy Vic cab, I just had Contra, the, the new, new Contra. Yeah. I, I didn't, I don't, I don't even have Hyperspin set whenever I have company over. Yeah, it's just it's just easier that way. But yeah, I, I was trying to find my my image of oops all crunch berries, but it was lethal enforcers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, the Sega CD version and the Master System version, the arcade version. And I yeah. gave you my build when you came over. You can you. Can... I was just gonna ask Brad, did you try out Ray's build? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Um, you was it was it mine? Mine maybe because mine like maybe oh I well, I didn't have it on the C drive. Mine gave me like two red errors, but I guess it's because of the C drive and all that. So Ray, Ray's file is like definitely launching other stuff in the background besides Big Box. Yeah, I have a- yeah he's launching the bull shooter. He's launching fucking. No, I have yeah. a Map Techno Parrot automatically and Map the Bull Shooter automatically. But uh, if you didn't uh, add an antivirus exception, uh, something might have thrown off two errors. Uh, you actually have to run it off as uh, admin the first time. Just um, pick, uh, run as admin the first time, and then that's the part of main hook and everything to work. But yeah, if, if you look at my file structure, it's a lot cleaner. <laughs> Just I didn't really look totally into it. I was like, oh, cool. This like I was able to launch a big boxes. Like, okay, cool. Okay, and I was like, right, thanks. I know my drive like the back of my hand. <laughs> I love though that Ray has, and I, I'll be honest, I've I've officially started working on it. But Ray has like the unified theme on big box, so it's like hyperspin. Yeah. So I was like, oh, Ray, <laughs> Ray still likes his hyperspin a little bit. Yeah. It seems to be a very popular theme, but yeah. I the actually have to use it's a uh, faster. That's why because gotta, um, it's very smooth. No, I was gonna say I use City Hunter myself, um, but that one has been updated in a little while. It just looks more appealing, but because mm. the way the graphics are rendered, uh, it has a video background. You actually have to have a graphics card in it uh, to have it be a little bit smoother. Uh, 
the unified one doesn't has a very low requirement for graphics. Um, you know, and I'll be honest, that's why, like I said, right now I'm going to be making that transition to to launch box, big box, and just having p people having the option to yeah, it's going. People having the option to pick their own themes. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so it's like, you know, it's time, but I'm still going to have hyperspin. It's going to be a dual boot system. Welcome like, to 2019. You know, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, dual boot system sucks, dude. Get rid of that shit. The only issue I have, like I said, and I think I mentioned it to Ray when he came over, was that I basically have like, there's like maybe four emulators that I can't update because hyperspin kind of fails. But uh, yeah, it's going to most likely just be the full move. Do the full move, man. I'm actually so just I'm actually trying to reach out to the guy that made Unified the theme. Right. I just want to do a couple of minor tweaks, and it kind of sucks that you you really I think you need like a, a specific a coding program to like adjust it. There's Wait, what do you want to tweak? What do you want to tweak? I can tweak. I know how to tweak. I don't something. like my only thing that I don't like about the theme is like if you're in let's say like Super Nintendo and then it's got it's got like the very small video preview and then it's that. got the game cards. I know you can make the video big. No, you can change the whole thing. There's like five views, man. Yeah, There's you change the view. I just want full screen video and the card. You just gotta change the view. That's all. There's you can. You can pick. There's like vertical, horizontal, but yeah, you, I'll, I'll show you. How That's to also another thing. I'm actually going to try to update my vertical build to somebody has a vertical image uh, theme yeah. on, on. There's a uh, there's on a couple of good ones. Uh, B B Kong was taking an existing vertical build and he edited it for his uh his Tron cabinet. That was actually cool because it originally had a little joystick that moved up and down when you went through the game list, and he changed that icon to be a Tron joystick. And oh, it just, wow. so that's what I like to do. I'll just take somebody else's build. I'll just tweak it a little bit. Like, look, I made something. Like, that's it's mine now. <laughs> I made this. That's, that's literally the arcade community. <laughs> I, I would have, take what this that, person Well, did, it's different. They go, I tweak this. It's right, mine I now. It. Mine now. That's it. That's <laughs> it's mine now. In that show. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Right, Vic, what I love about Big Box now and Launch Box, especially now that you're integrating, you don't have to wait for the whole system to load up when you're, you can move on to the next system. So like you take you take 868 GameCube games and you drop it in, click add, click finish, and then the fire starts rolling, right? Right. You can go right to the next system. And then you can do that. And it'll just keep adding on to the number that it's loading up, especially with the media. It'll just keep adding on and until it's done on its own. I have to I did it the other day. Um, I did it actually yesterday and this morning because I was working on a PC. I took my two terabyte and made it a four terabyte, uh, which I'm gonna have to completely redo for my final. But I added on PS2 games and GameCube games, and then I had to redo some Techno Pair games in it. And that's the best part about it is that as I'm adding the system, I can add a whole nother system and a whole nother system and just keep right. You can keep working. Like and I said, I think the only the only challenges that I still, I mean, I have to really sit down though. I think I'm just facing, and I know Ray's gonna say he has the AHK. I think I'm just still facing like the 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 one button. Mm -hmm. Escape, exit, everything issue. Yeah, Launchbox doesn't have that issue. <laughs> I have does. it now. No, I yeah, it Sorry, twenty six hundred. It I, has an right. No, there is there is an actual issue. I know there's that. a line. Something somebody puts it like a minus fs or some shit like oh, that. No, no, in my house. Yeah, you can you can put that. Uh, Launchbox has an auto hotkey section you can put in for each game. I kind of skip that nowadays. If I'm just adding like a new game and not like a whole platform, Launchbox I'm just adding exe files and saying right. launch this exe, and that exe is usually a compiled AHK that I wrote that has. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, but hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Launchbox has an issue closing Technoparrot games with that one button close the close the emulators button that you set in Big Box. It doesn't close it. So the Big Box and Technoparrot are not shaking hands when you have to close it. You have to use the keyboard. I'll to close it. You want. I, can I was going to ask no, you: no, Do you still have no, that focus issue? Not, I, the, well, there's a Ray, there's a focus um, AHK uh, file that we have so that we can add in there to to fix that. So there's no focus issue anymore because we fixed it. But for big box in general, when it comes to closing out of the techno pair games, I have this issue on my racing machines um, that when you go to click that, because my racing machine isn't using um, an iPad, it's using the, it's using X output and it's using the wheel to close it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, nobody can close out of the techno pair games with the wheel. They have to use right. the keyboard. Yeah, for when, uh, now I have a very early version of your racing build, but uh, for when I was adding new games to it over the last, Oh my god! Two years? Wow. Well, okay, time yeah. flies. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm I'm adding them via uh, AHK script, and the terminate command is in the AHK. So I'm not uh, using the launch box quit button. It's just hitting escape, which triggers the AHK's. No, but he needs to use a, a game. I, 
set them up with the AH32, and I'm having the same issue with the AHK files. Really? Oh, yeah. you know what's probably happening? It's probably because it's the same button as the general general launch box exit. Yeah. It's so, probably hitting the launch box exit, you know, rather than just triggering the. Oh, if you do the manual brute force one, that you put in the running section, which affects, uh, which can which can close through a uh, gamepad. I, I know what, what issue you're talking about. That that one's kind of annoying, but um, it, it, I can I'll, I'll send you the code for it. Yeah, I said I, I'm I'm. The one thing I said I mentioned to you guys is somebody made the that D Thomas made that video, but his hyperspin looked much like it was smooth going, and I'm like, this doesn't look like hyperspin, but he is using hyperspin essentially. He's got the the, the, the different theme, but like I said, when I launched Ray, when Ray had his build on my cab, I was like, wow, it's it's also like a resolution bump, it, like the whole logos and everything looks super clean. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so when, you, when, you when you when you create the theme. <laughs> So when you create a theme for big box, you can set the resolution. Yeah. So there are certain themes that only will work with certain resolutions. And if you don't have that resolution set, it'll throw off an error and then it'll go right back to the default theme. So like, I think there's a, there's another, there's a unified, then there's unified refried. And I've unified, seen that. That also could be. Well, it's what an update. It's happening? an update. It's an updated version of unified, but it's a little bit more clearer and it's a little bit more sexier. The one thing I was happy to see that somebody took the unified and removed the fucking publisher rating. They yeah, they yeah. removed the bars. I was like, all right, that's solid. Oh, but um, actually, so with Launchbox, right? You can actually change out every like box art, video, and clear logo. That's what I've been doing all day. I was texting you guys like the whole day. Yeah, cleaning out Techno Parrot. Yeah, cleaning out Techno Parrot because there's actually a really nice guy on the Launchbox forum called uh, Suck Ram JD. Uh, <laughs> that's what, <it's> like. <laughs> I, <laughs> what? I, I'm not even kidding. That's S U C R A M J D. All right, and uh, Ooh, he was actually doing <laughs> the, the Jesus videos Christ. for um Techno Parrot before, and he he quit in like like 2021. And I saw his work, and I loved it. And I'm like, hey, bro, can you you know make uh, some new ones? I'll pay you. I'll pay you. And he did it for free. <laughs> And then um, like he just like, oh, this guy got me back in. But now he's going crazy, making every light gun game, every techno party, completing every set. Every beautiful video is from this one, the, the Suck Ram JD guy. And then, I'm like, really excited to see the the video marquees. That's what I'm really excited to tap Video into. marquees, actually, he doesn't make. He makes the theme videos with, you know, the characters coming in. and then Right. The, I mean, yeah. And I, I was just completing my collection. And while I was doing that, I was actually adding the marquees from the uh, flat marquees, not video. And cleaning up the clear logos, I was going to show you guys. Like, I found a way to get clear logos from that logo website and then extract them, or you know, add a stroke. I realized that if you're using a black, um, you know, the, the regular marquee and your marquee, your logo is black, black on black, you don't see shit. It's like watching Black Panther on an OLED screen. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so I, I use Photo P to add like a stroke to it, so that it has like a rim, and you can you can see the edges and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna upload that that file for you guys uh, later tonight, and then you guys have a full clean. With I, said, I have to. I'm I'm more excited to just kind of really kind of sit down. I just gotta. It's funny because I already have I have 90 percent of what I need for the launch box build. It's just like sitting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, add the system and then put the EXE. Like, I already have the ROMs and all that stuff. I already have the media. I just got to, like, set it. That's it. No, you don't need that. The, the, the launch box downloads the media for you. Yeah, it doesn't I already have you. it, though. I already no, have it. No, you got to. It's not going to transfer over. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't transfer over. I had to stop playing with my dolls. <laughs> They're right here. I still have yet to uh, put them in the machine. They're, they're still next to me. Your creepy godfather <laughs> voodoo dolls? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll bring over a four terabyte for you uh, next time, and you can just build off my base because my, my collection is ready. I hate I, I I appreciate the offer, but I, I hate doing that. I have to do it fresh because if I didn't start it, you then I know don't know how to edit it. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. That that is true. That is a thing. Yeah, I just I appreciate it, but that's just how I do it. I'm like ah. Yeah. I, if you have any issues with the exiting and stuff, I'll, I'll help you out with it because I it, it took me a while to figure it's out how just, to exit. For oh. me, it's just techno parrot. Yeah, I, that's that's not, I no. love that. Except, I mean, Brad, somebody wrote that. How many alien guns did you have on order? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So what is that? Light <laughs> the, the amount of work to make that, 
and then Matt Vessel. Yeah, yeah. So that's the funny thing. Is like, of course, this was this was uh, this was just my pride. Thank you. Actually, that's uh, that's yeah. I took a little YouTube hiatus after that, but I haven't done the the, the victory lap of my pulse rifle build. But um, no, I actually have had people like you know ask you know offer me money to build them one, and uh, it's like with a lot of my other mods, where I was like, I don't. You guys do this for a living. I'm 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 just the user. I don't even build right. that for a living. I don't even build that for bread. Don't, <laughs> Too much don't, work. don't go down that road, Brad. You're gonna like, hate it. Listen, yeah. hate you it. could go down that road, but you can't be charged a hundred bucks for the mod. I mean, no, yeah. Yo, that's, yeah, yeah, I would, I would yeah, turn that's honestly. I'd be like, yo, let's uh, modest, put paint and everything. It's too much work. It's just that's it's, that's fifteen seven. That's fifteen sixteen hundred dollars per gun. Right there. I mean, to, to make it worth it, you're probably not wrong. Only because I'm like, I'm in my late forties, and I was like, I, you know, my time is valuable also, right now. Also, Brad has a job. Like Brad has. Yeah, no, like, this. Yeah, so yeah, but your um, weekends would get stuck doing this every weekend. Yeah, you, you're uh, but but the point of the video was to okay. Well, let's be the real point of the video was like, look at my cool toys. But yeah. the, right. the video is really um, it, right. Yeah, it's to show people like, hey, if you want to do this, it's like an inspiration. It's like you can do it. Here's here's yeah. an idea. You know, like you can fit the component here. You can fit the rumble there. You know, you can. You know, this is this. It, it's doable. And um, if anyone wants to ever copy me, like say I make a video in 2020 about a pedestal gun cart, then people want to make their own. That you know, more power to you. You know, I was that's that's the whole reason I do the YouTube videos. I can't. You I can't can turn off my toys. But like. The practicality of making something custom and bespoke. Like, okay, th this is not practical to do for like two hundred bucks. No, this is just wood and metal. Don't get me wrong. Like, cost of materials. I know very well how much this costs. Like, it's nice MDF, and actually, even the bottom is steel, by the way, which is very pretty. Like, yeah. every every screw is uh, it has a socket. It's not screwed into the wood. It has a yeah. brass socket. Like, you know how much I pay for this? This was six hundred dollars. No internals. Okay, Whoa. and I, I happily paid it. Yeah, no, sh shit is expensive now, guys. It's a work of art. If you don't do the engraving, it's actually four hundred. The engraving alone, the guy took like three weeks just showing me pictures. Oh, do you like it? Do you like it this way? He did it twice over because he was like, no, I, I was fine with the first revision. He was like, oh no, it's it's not good looking enough for me. So he made wow. it again. All That's right, right. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Fine. <laughs> and the guy who, who runs this business, this company, he bought like two guns from me for like a thousand dollars. So you know, we're, we're literally just trading each other's goods. So I'm per I have no no problem paying six hundred for something. This is fucking premium. This is probably like, like eight pounds. It, it, the port, the most portable, like feeling arcade feeling thing. You can use hat buttons. This is a Quamba gravity buttons. And yeah, but if you're saying I want to mass produce this for like. 100, 200 bucks? Hell no. There's no way. If that's the case, you just buy a plastic one. Yeah. No, I, I, I see the... Yeah. No, I see the forms also, like, you know, like, Neil Henry makes these custom Coleco tabletop arcades that have pies in them, and um, then these guys that make these uh these little scale pinball machines that are virtual that have run, v, you know, VPX and stuff in them. Yeah. And they're like, that is amazing. If New Wave Toys made one of those and it cost $200, I'd buy it. I'm in it. <laughs> well, go. <laughs> And then I'd live in fantasy land, you know? And like, yeah. <laughs> so. Never going to happen because business doesn't work that way. You know, yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, make money off something like that for 200 bucks. Yeah. yeah. It's not That's even it. that. Even if they did it for 200 bucks, they're going to complain about the quality. Yeah. And that shit don't work. You and then they're like, okay, you wouldn't have paid a thousand dollars for it. So, yeah. You know, I, I, I'm, I was worried about, about that for people who don't like do this right you if you weren't a hobbyist or if you don't do it professionally or you're you're just like uh, okay so example my brother wanted a virtual pin and he just was googling virtual pins and i was just like you know i know a guy right <laughs> you know two guys <laughs> yeah but um but i was like but you know you know that this is you know vic's putting in the the legwork for stuff that technically anyone could do you can right. get these emulators out there you can do this you know there's a craftsmanship in the the finish of it but the software wise you know anyone can do it meaning that this stuff isn't perfect so it's it's uh you know there's there's disclaimers it's like hey an emulator might crash a front end might be hiccup you might have to reboot occasionally this is this yeah. but the trade-off is he's got how many tables vic like a shitload oh, of tables. i think he's over at least over like 400 vpx yeah. alone is 388 with DOF, with full yep. haptics and the feedbacks matrix. and solenoids and, oh, and all shit. ready to go and flashers and LEDs. And it's like, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. 
but you have to have that asterisk on it. You have to have the, listen, if you don't know how this works, okay, if yeah. you're just buying it as a product, then the people, you guys, when you sell this stuff, you have the support there. But yeah. there is the thing. It's like, hey, sometimes these games crash. Sometimes the emulators fuck up. Sometimes yeah. it's like, I didn't detect your reg key. Oh, you are a thousand other things that happen because we have a thousand games on it. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So yeah, I'm really happy and very proud. And it's so. I even said I, I texted Chad. Chad had two flukes I've never had ever. Chad had one launch. The launch button, the big launch button, was a manufactured defect. The spring went into the buttons. He's like, Vic, my 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 buttons like stuck. And Chad on his own actually opened up the V pin. I was very happy with that. And then he sends me, a, like, we were FaceTime. I'm like, what? And I'm like, Chad, show me the base of this launch button. And sure enough, the whole spring is in the button. I'm like, and I had one to compare. So he has only two minor flaws. He had that launch button issue. And now he's got the motherboard fan was like oh, loud. Yeah, so I, I, I ordered him a new one. Yeah, the fan on the CPU cooler is, um, is, is buzzing. Yeah, it was like buzz. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I yeah. sent the chat. I was like, dude, I sell these. I get I get customers that are like, hey Vic man, I think a solenoid is on. And I'm like, Chad, you just got like the like the randomest shit happen. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. But Do I give him props. He's doing very good with it. He's he's he was able to fix it. I think the the CPU cool is coming tomorrow. It was supposed to come today, yeah. but yeah, and that's another thing that people got to consider when they're buying a product like this. Like like Vic, me, we're making them brand new. Hobbyists, you're making it brand new, right? that flaw that just happened the manufacturer defect that wouldn't have happened until there was some actual use going on with the machine yeah, it's crazy because I, I was using his launch button <laughs> right like like little things like that happen yeah. all the time with builds this is why when you're buying from somebody like Vic or myself you're getting a warranty with the product and we're going to yeah. cover you for it and we're going to yeah. give you the support that you need to get it fixed yeah, you guys especially don't have when you're out of state stress test you don't have a robot right. pressing the launch button a right. thousand times right. before you and then it. again for me my biggest thing with Chad I was like I was like and I had luckily a launch button I was like Chad I'm sending you this next day and then the CPU, I was like, I'll send it to you. I, I owe you that. Right. But uh, I was like, damn, what the fuck? How a launch button out of all the things? I was like, yeah, a launch yeah. button? Really? Yeah, he had me over there looking at the leaf switch buttons too. There was some wires that got kinked in between two of the leaf oh, switches. Oh, the, the RGBs. Yeah. By the way, I actually was like, when I meant to ask you, that's um, I haven't seen a, a leaf switch aftermarket like that before. The little plastic clip on and the um, yeah, you have four wires going into the button on these. These are the flipper buttons, guys. So yeah, so you have the leaf switch, which is actually making the contact for the button, but then going into the the housing of the the plastic button, you have four wires. I'm assuming two for the LED. What are the other two wires that are going into that? We well, got it's you got RGB power. No. Oh, not. RGB, not just RGB. LED. Okay, I thought no, it was no, it's RGB LED. power. RGB, right? They're color changing, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, and those, I get those at Groovy Game Gear. They're like with the leaf switch. It's like a, I think it's like a twenty-two dollar button. Jesus yeah. Christ! But they look great. No, but it, the best really thing good. is that yeah. I always use it for for pinball because it's concave. Right. Uh, it's ice white, and then the LED inside of it. And this uh, is yo know, when Vic is building you a machine. You're getting premium product. Yeah, Straight I always I, I try product, to get. Right? I try to get like the one can. thing that Chad's build is missing is the beacons. He's just and like, he I got kind of on purpose. Dollar button. Yeah. I know. I was like, ah, I feel bad because he couldn't fit the beacons. So imagine by imagine building an arcade yourself, and one button is twenty two dollars, and you have to get at least eight of them. You know, Vic is putting in a premium yeah. product, and he's building it. When you're getting a pinball from Vic. I want to make Dude, sure the, the amount of time that it goes into wiring up those the matrix, the doff, all of that. Yeah. And he's doing you're doing that like old school oh, manually man. style. You're not buying kits. You're straight up buying all the wiring to do that yourself. Like you're getting a straight up premium product from Vic when you're doing something like that. This is why Vic is the man when it comes to that shit. You want to spend thousands of dollars on an arcade? Go to Vic. I you appreciate it. Go to Vic. Do you have <laughs> thing with like a lot of people say, oh, you can buy it from China. You can, you know, get a pre-made whatever from AliExpress or buy whatever. I have and that in the garage right now. That's probably they, Illinois. <laughs> the reason that they can do that is because the mentality in China, I can say this because. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Get ready. Their mentality is we have so many people in our country. If everyone gives us $1, we'll be rich. And that is true. So the, the business mentality is there is not the same as America. It's more like make as much wholesale low cost sales as you can quantity you over quality over, and then you know just close your account after you screw over them open a new account you can okay. do that in china you can do that legally all right you can't do that here okay versus Unless here 
here we we have to protect our reputation. People know who the fuck we are. It's, it's right. not. It's not. Granted, Brad and, and and Joel look very similar, and and from the back, I really can't tell anymore. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, have to I don't have hair. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> so, you got some. <laughs> I, I can tell. I, I have chest hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> does it? <laughs> but like, we don't want I, our. I, I try. <laughs> Like we don't want our reputation to be bad because we want referrals. We want people to say, "Oh, I yeah, bought right. it. You want people to come back. Please, you know, my my brother wants to buy one too, and so on and so forth." <laughs> Just like my karaoke, it's like I sell for high prices, but. It, it's oh, all I even. Now. I yeah. just got in the mail. I got to send it to Chad tomorrow. I got his custom shooter rod. Finally, it's been like. A, like I'm, I'm, but I'm. I'm gonna message the company because I'm a little annoyed. It's supposed to be purple. I'll, I'll go grab it. Hold on. I'll go oh, grab it. it. You're gonna I go grab his rod. Clayton, it's the rod. Yeah. rod. <laughs> grab the rod. It's so weird because now I've actually been in Vic's house. I actually know where he's going and. Yeah, like, like you, you understand the layout. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been been the rod. Rod three times. Like, so yeah, it's it's. Vic, your mic's still running, so don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> I wish the, the weather was better that day, so we could have barbecued. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, luckily, like I said it's like a gift from me to Chad, but it's not too bad. That's but it is kind of like it's on the what big is, time. But it's, it's like it's a pink and like silver hue. What is that? Oh, is that his? Is that his plunger rod? Yeah. Why is it a ball? It That's what like it is. A ball. Pulp, it looks like Pulp Fiction. That looks like some kind of sex toy. <laughs> That's what I'm it's saying. Like fucking like cap there. Yo. Oh, it's like a little translucent. Okay, I see it now. It just looks I silver see. before. No, that yeah. Looks- I mean, honestly, it's supposed to be purple, yeah. and it's that more looks- of like the light purple side. He doesn't yeah. want. He doesn't like. He doesn't like the one that's on it now. He wants that. No, so no. the one I gave him mine that I use as like my test, and this didn't come in time from when he picked it up. Uh, okay. So his shooter rod right now is a red one. He could keep it. Yeah. I don't care. But I feel bad because it's got an actual chip on it. And he's got kiddos that are playing with it, so I don't want them to cut their finger. But that that looks like semen suspended inside. Like, <laughs> damn it, Ray. Damn it, no, Ray. it's cool. It's like it's got a very. Oh, it's, I mean, it's bright a pin bot, so it's like it's like a. <laughs> yeah. It's like a gray and like a. I thought it was more purple though, but it's like a pink. So I'm gonna put a complaint through. Dude, put Beavis's face on that, and then it looks like the sperm <laughs> from Beavis and Butthead to America. Yeah, so I'll send this to Chad tomorrow. I'll overnight it. Okay, that looks nice. Huh? It's cool. It's definitely awesome. I just know that he'll probably ask Brad to help him out. He's gonna take the 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 shooter rod. Not the. He's gonna take the whole plunger assembly out, and then just remove a clip, and then it comes out. But it's pretty like. It's not too bad. Yeah. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because that's Chad. <laughs> this yeah. is Chad. So so speaking of uh, that that trip to go pick up the V pin, you know, and then I got to see Vic's. Uh, Vic's place and uh he was very hospitable for the day and unfortunately we couldn't stick around very long you know it felt the, so uh, bad because ra- dude wrapping the yeah. v-pin alone took me like an hour i felt so bad <laughs> oh, no, we were having pizza and beer and then but you know joe you should have seen it like on the way out Vic's like here have another beer for the road he just hand shattered open i gave the whole like six pack <laughs> and then like Chad just drinking <laughs> beer drink. on the on the, on the, the turnpike <laughs> the, um, yeah so we were having that discussion we're like if you're a passenger you're not that's not like illegal to be open drinking beer if you're a passenger. Is, is it? No. It is. It's open yeah. container law. It's illegal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it? Open it's all like, 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 he's like, nah, back in the country, we do all this all the time. Here. <laughs> no, your exact words are, it's okay. We're white. We won't get pulled over. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, here's a fun story. This one, we have, we celebrate Dingus Day in Buffalo. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's Polish Dingus holiday. Day. It's Polish holiday, like St. Patrick's Day. It's actually tomorrow, but like 10 years ago on Dingus Day, it's a huge holiday here because there's a huge Polish community in Buffalo. Um, anyways, like 10 years ago, um, I'm out for Dingus Day. I'm with my buddy and we're about to, I'm, I'm about to leave and I'm the ride, right? And I'm like, all right, we're going to go. My buddy, he just got, like, they were giving out, like, tubs, like the, the giant 22-ounce cups from, like, the carnivals of beer. Like, that's what they were selling. And he's like, I just got a beer. I'm like, well, fucking bring it in the car with you, man. I don't give a fuck, right? So we get in the car. He's in the front seat. I'm in a fucking Honda Civic, like a 2004 Honda Civic. And um, I go to fucking make a left-hand turn out of the fucking parking lot. Fucking thing slips out of his hand. Oh, 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 fucking cut full 22 oh. ounce fucking <laughs> glass of beer all over the fucking front carpet of the car. 
oh. all over it. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I thought it rolled out of the car in front of a cop. No. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to I thought that was going to man. That's where, that's, you know, this is why you don't drink and fucking, you don't. No, but it's not a bottle. That's not going to happen in a bottle. That's not a big deal. I, I thought you were going to, like, I thought you were going to say, oh, I got pulled over. And then, like, yeah. you know, like, like. I thought you were going to tell me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, evenly violated, maybe, you know, in prison or something. No, like, well, I will say it was definitely awesome to meet Brad in person and then also Chad and, and everything. It was awesome. It was very awesome. It was, uh, it was really cool. You, know, of course, met Ray for the first time, which is surreal. It's, Ray, you're a lot taller in person. Isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's like the tallest fucking looking Asian down on you on the camera. <laughs> and then your your own videos are all first person view. Yeah, you, you know. never see Ray. Yeah, yeah. In, in real life, I am I am actually like six feet tall. So Brad, you, <laughs> he you is cannot, tall. You cannot grasp the size of his lips until you see him in person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. It was so funny. So my wife was working until like I think like eleven thirty, and like all of a sudden I get a text from Ray. It's like 11.35. He's like, I'm outside. I'm like, what? I'm outside <laughs> I'm like, the house. <laughs> He's like, I am outside. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was awesome. And, and, no, and, and, that was the only thing that sucked. That was raining. It was pouring that day. It was flooding rain. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was flooding I opened rain. up the garage. We were getting ready to like bring the U. Like, Brad bought the U. And it's just fucking torrential yeah. downfall. Yeah. I was like, oh. like buckets. Just buckets pouring off the, you know. Yeah. But, um, but no, it worked out great. I mean, yeah. we got home super late we got home like 10 p.m or something oh. like that um but uh but yeah no it was great it was just like i said it was just a little rushed but you know i um i want to return the favor something a little less rushed you know like there's a we, we maybe have a little get together here and yes i saw the text yeah, yeah. My, yeah. My, my, my for sure yeah, yeah. That's definitely gonna happen. i'm done i already i, I reserved the rental yeah I'm so driving. you know the uh, I think it's only appropriate that you know we uh we do we do we do our our live stream you know sometime oh, yeah. that weekend. Live. From, oh, bring a bunch of cameras. Wait, from, wait, from wait. My place. Uh, Joe, what rental? I um instead of flying, um, it's cheaper for me to rent the car and drive. It's a six hour ride from Buffalo to Brad's house, so I'm just gonna rent the car. It's two hundred unlimited bucks mileage for like car. yeah, like two hundred fifty yeah. bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. fifty bucks yeah. for the car. Yeah. I was looking at flights, yeah. round trip flights right now for me right now are six hundred dollars. Oh, um, right. They went up. I was looking at them. I think the last time we talked about, it, I was looking at it was like 250, 300. I would look at the cheap. train. Would I be able to uh, train it? Probably. Uh, you can train into Baltimore. Train. We could get pick you up. So, yeah. I'll figure that out. Yeah. Vic, the, we'll, uh, we'll go together. Yeah, we'll go together, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll just fly. Screw I'm, I'm just going to yeah. rent like a small I'm car. I'm taking a six hour ride to Baltimore. Like, I'll be <laughs> honest. I, I, I was already looking at it. I was like, if I'm going to go there, I'm probably going to go and I'll do like a Facebook marketplace find. And if I can find like a pinball machine, I can come back from <laughs> Brad's with a pinball machine home. I'll run the U-Haul. I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't know. Let me, you, let me, let me, Brad, Brad, you said it was like 120 miles? Uh, what? To your house? Yeah. No. No, it can't. No, it was uh, it was uh, three hours to your place. No, miles. My, oh, miles. Wait, how many miles was it? Um. Three hours would probably be somewhere around. That we didn't go from my house. We were going from Chad, so I'm a little closer to you than Chad was. Um, what's I feel like uh, Chad what, said it was like 130 miles. Uh, what, you're not Queens. What are you? Uh, New High Park. New High. So we got a train. Okay, so for me, the it's a uh, hundred and. Oh no! It's 220 miles. Oh, 220. All right, that's still yeah. not too bad. Yeah. So it's but it's three hours, three and uh, it's three and a half hours. So that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's so bad. We were we were literally hanging on the basement eating pizza. And I was like, all right, let's go like do like Chad's pin. So I was happy, yeah, I was so happy he loved it. And so I was like, all right, now we gotta wrap it. Yeah. We bullshit for so long before we got to the pin. Yeah. I'm not thinking it. Was all good, so though. I could train to your house for 76 bucks, but it is an eleven hour train ride. Yeah. Oh, we can get oh, yeah. 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 Uh, like seventy six dollars though for twelve for eleven hours. That's not bad, but I'm not taking an eleven hour train ride to your house on a Friday. Yeah. I'll no, drive. I will rather fly for like one hour. That's not a problem. Like, yeah. I would I would love to fly if I could, but I'm gonna keep watching because I can cancel my reservation on, on Enterprise if I want to. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep watching plane tickets, and if it's easier for me to fly in than just Uber to your house, I'll do that. But yeah, yeah. otherwise I'm just yeah, planning on driving. Yeah, but shit, bucks for round trip. It's no, yeah. when it's, so, it's going to be cost me what a hundred dollars in gas both ways. Yeah. So yeah, and you're not I'll, paying the mileage, so you know, and yeah. there's no wear and tear on your personal vehicle. You know, it's it's yeah. Well, yeah. I can't I'll all day. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's a no. So it's gonna be great. It's a it's so about a month from now, we uh we're, we're gonna have a get together at my place and Star Wars we'll, weekend. Yeah, well, we'll Star Wars episode one anniversary weekend. So, but that uh yeah, before you guys head out, we'll uh we'll do a we'll do a live stream from here yeah. for 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 our 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 five or six fans. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think we should do. I mean, I think we should maybe do if possible the Friday night stream. And then, because then Saturday yeah, sure. we can go whatever we can go out on the town if we want to. Yeah. Or if yeah. We're, oh, if yeah. We're, if we're just getting fucked yeah. up in your no, house, no. we can just we'll, stream Friday, Saturday night. I know. Yeah, yeah. we'll I'll set up some cameras on and some microphones. And we'll just do it between two ferns. We'll just have cameras on us while I'll be on the couch. <laughs> sitting, you yeah. Know? yeah. It'll be great. So, you, yeah. a much nicer lens. We can catch all. Well, yeah, we can catch four, four of us in one lens. You probably have a better mic too. I'll bring my, I'll bring my, my bullshit mic. <laughs> yeah. Right. I just want to play trilogy. Hey, <laughs> and I want you guys to play trilogy, and I want Vic to play, you know, Street Fighter, and I yes, want. Yes, I, want... I, I gotta, I gotta get on the Dynamo. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I want to play Brad head to head on Outrun Two. Oh yes, yes, guys, we have to. Yeah. Yeah, because I got the two-player racing setup upstairs. So right. there's no way yeah. you could do that online. No, uh, we could. Uh, well, Techno Paired Online uh, is a thing. Yeah, but the idea is when you're right there and you can yeah, when you're yeah, there. you're yeah. <laughs> so bullshit. That's, that's, that's a fun part. Like trash talk. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be on a little bit of travel in April, so I might miss out on a, a more streams. But I am really happy to be back. And yeah, there you go talking with you guys and i can't wait you know to, to to have you guys down here um but uh unfortunately i have to bounce out for the rest of the night for the stream so Sorry. i'm gonna hand off to you guys and um i if you guys are doing stream let me know when you're doing the next stream i'll see if i can do it otherwise i will catch everyone during the live stream here in this basement on the weekend of may 3rd <laughs> yeah yes we'll be there weekend of may 3rd that's it yeah. all right guys peace out later brad, yeah, brad. see you buddy <laughs> Yeah, it was it was awesome seeing Brad, like meeting Brad. Nicest guy ever. Like it was, yeah. It was very. It was just like when Joel came over. It was like it's a whole different feeling, but it's, it's awesome. Just, it was just fun hanging out with you guys. That's all. Yeah, the, I really honestly, I was like, you know, it's so funny. Like, I was more worried about like is Chad gonna like be cool with all, and but we were probably talking to Chad more than Brad. Oh, we know, <laughs> Chad, oh, Chad, like can make so many dirty jokes, and he laughed. Yeah, that's what yes. Every single like innuendo like that I made, he was cracking up. I was like, ah, oh, okay, perfect. It was very cool. Chad was like, I, like I said, I've only messaged Chad. I never like heard his voice, but having him here and that's what he was playing Godfather like a lot. He got his like he's got his picture on the on the game and everything. He was loving it. It was awesome. That shit. Apparently, my score is pathetic on Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome though. It was it was great. It was uh it was a thing of beauty. Uh, me, and, me and Vic are in New York. He's in um, Long Island. We don't have to say New York at this point, but um, yeah. And uh, Joel is in Buffalo, which is uh, New York. Mm. <laughs> and even that Buffalo, what was the what was the mileage to to me on, on Buffalo? Oh, it's like three hundred miles. What? It's a seven <laughs> hour drive. Hang on. Wait, how long was well, it? If you're going it's to oh, if you're going to chat, if you're going to Brez, then it's like the opposite way. It's straight. It's straight it's like down, middle. straight down. Oh, so I would drive towards Syracuse, mm -hmm. and then when I get to Syracuse, it's a straight shot down. Got it. Um, and it's very. It's a, actually pretty much the same. It's the same route that I would take to get to New York City, mm -hmm. um, except I'm not heading towards New York City. Same route that I would take to New York City or Philly, except I'm not heading towards New York City. I'm just when I get to Syracuse, I'm just heading straight down. It's actually. I'm sorry. It's more or less the route that I take to get to Philadelphia. Um, mm -hmm. Philadelphia is a six hour ride. And I'm just not cutting. I'm not making a left-hand turn off the turnpike to go to Philly. I'm just right. going to continue on straight. Um, so, yeah, hang on. Queens? I mean, let me type in Queens. Queens. Right, right, right. Queens. Directions. For me to get to Queens right now, it mm -hmm. is... This isn't loads. Hey, weren't you supposed to come to Penn Station? Didn't you have, like, a, a arcade? Uh, didn't you have a cab, like, commission? Uh, yeah, hang on. It's 411 miles. Yeah. Wow. The Queens. It's a six, uh, six and a half hour or six, six. And when you came to me, you minutes. drove that. I drove that to Long Island to Islip, to West Islip. Right, right. Yeah. You, yes, yes. And yeah, then so Islip to me. Then Islip to you, and then I went back to Islip, and then I went. We went back home that weekend. So yeah, we drove down because it's there's you know there's four of us, and yeah. well there's technically five, but when we went to Islip, there was only four of us going to Islip. 
you know, plane tickets, plane tickets for four people. It's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, know, when we go, when we go out to the West coast, we, we buy the five tickets cause all of us go, including my, my daughter for my other kid or for my baby mama. Um, it's, it's a thousand dollars per person. That's so it's five thousand dollars in plane tickets just to get out west. He just yeah. said six hundred dollars to get a loan round trip. That's insane. What was well, expensive from? It? Well, I mean, Ray, you're traveling three thousand miles across the country on an airplane and on an eight hour no, ride. Just, from from you to Cali is a thousand dollars per. No, that that sounds. Yeah, well, you got to do taxes, huh? Tax. Not the. You pay tax on airplane tickets. So it's yeah. the airplane tickets like eight, right eight, now, I'll be honest, I ain't getting on a plane because all those Boeing fucking things oh, with yeah, the doors right. flying off and shit. Um so but Ray, what you were talking about, the the arcade, yeah, I got that's the Facebook arcades. Um they're on their way. They're the Facebook, the mega is getting delivered tomorrow. Oh nice. Oh wow. Here, here it's getting delivered tomorrow. Right. Here it's like you start building it. Again, right? The guitar hero that I have in the garage is gonna be gone by Friday. And so the, the new guitar hero is going to get coming off the line. I have another light gun coming off the line. So, um, yeah, so the mega, the mega, the mega and the guitar hero for Facebook is going to be coming up pretty much next. And you... they're, they're going to get sent out. I want to, I need to get them out of here within the next two and a half weeks. No, were you so, cutting wood today? I thought you were coming I down. Was. I am coming down. So I'm going to ship it. I'm going to ship it. And then when I ship it, I'm going to, they have to, t- they're going to tell me when it's going to get delivered. And nah. I'm gonna f- I'm gonna fly in the day after it gets delivered because it could get delivered between fucking yeah. you know ten to nine to five right yeah um so I'll come in the next day and then I'll Uber I'll Uber to Hudson Park if one of you want to come with me oh I'm coming with you for sure that's my that's we the, could we could tag along if you want oh yeah, no I, I can bring at least one of you I'm, so, I'm, I'm twenty away right. from there so I, right. I, I go there for drinking so yeah. I'm park. Well, we're if anything, going... you take Rain, then I'll meet you after it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. well, we're, we're going to Hudson Park. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, and it also depends on my flight out. I don't know what time my flight Yeah, that's be. trust me. Just so don't worry. Take Rain. My, my, <laughs> idea is to, my idea is to get there by like 10 o'clock in the morning and then get to Facebook by 11 o'clock in the morning if possible. I'm considering mm-hmm. like an hour no, ride from the airport no. to Facebook. I'm thinking New York traffic. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, and, you're not, no, no. If, you come um, by, if I'm home, home by midnight, that's great. Cool. So that's all that I need to do. It's an hour flight, you know. It's wing, it's wheels up, wheels down. There's nothing yeah. to it. It's super easy flight. Um, but I do got to come back in the same day because I don't have an. I don't. I can't afford to stay overnight right now down in New York mm. City. This so, is it. You can stay at my place. This I can host you. <laughs> true. I would have. I would have you here. I, I got. A, I got a king size pull out couch. No problem. Well, were you? What were you cutting today? Because I, dude, you you cut like you put the marquee up, dude. That's I thought it was the TV box. screen. No, that's the back box. I do. I swear to God, I thought it was. A TV I know, screen. yo. That's how nice those graphics are. <laughs> yeah, dude. That dude. that gloss. Now you're experiencing yeah. that gloss, man. Dude, those insane. graphics are fucking slim. Those graphics are fucking there. I was gonna say there's something on those graphics are like nothing ever that I've ever. Received. They're not 3M either. They are. They're nice, dude. They're just yeah. he whatever he's using the material that he's using and his ink. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It really is amazing. It it, it makes these the Jurassic Park arcade. The T-Rex head looks like it's 3D coming off it. It's crazy looking how nice that is. So and that one's going out tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, that was the back box for the Guitar Hero that I cut up today. Um, What's I got the plan with the... that, though? I don't understand. What are you doing with that? What do you mean, what am I doing with it? That you have the, so you have the marquee on top. Yeah. And then what? You're going you're gonna to do a Guitar Hero logo thing? Like what? Oh, I'll get it. I'll show you. Hang on. Well, you have another Guitar Hero on the... Well, he so he posted like a TikTok today of him like actually with a router, right and I was like, "There you go!" Like Joel is routing, <laughs> and then he 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 put vinyl straight black, dude. It looked like a TV on top of a guitar here, and I'm like, "Oh, is he putting like a 32 inch fucking TV for like uh, an active yeah, marquee?" I, I don't I don't watch a TikTok. Got yeah, it. I think he even had it on on. Uh, I don't know if he had it as a short. Mm-hmm. Got to take advantage of those YouTube shorts. That uh, that's what I'll tell Joe now when he comes back. Whatever TikTok does, put that shit right to the YouTube short. If anything, he probably has it on YouTube actually. All right, so I, I really do have like fifteen Guitar Hero arcades in my queue to build. Um, the Guitar Hero arcade, the marquee that's on the original Guitar Hero marquee right. or arcade, mm-hmm. it comes off it, so it's not attached. It's attached, but it's attached by two arms. Right, it's like a 3D effect. It comes right. off, right? So it gives right. you that 3D effect. Okay. This is not reverse printed. 
Wait, this is a this is this is polycarbonate printed right out of polycarbonate. Printed right? direct, nice. So if you like the best way that I can explain it, if you're going over to like a Pepsi machine, this yeah. is like the same material that the Pepsi logo is printed off. How thick is that? Uh, it's quarter inch thick. Wow. Yeah. So I'm gonna we'll put the oh, lights behind okay. it, and it'll go up. The only thing I don't like is that I, I created a whole design for this thing, right? And I sent it over to him, and I thought that's how he was going to cut it, and he cut it in a square. Wow. So my original design was like it was like straight on the sides, and then it had like an octagon angle to it, right, to give it almost okay. like an oval shape around the top and the bottom, and he cut it in a square. Okay, uh, I'm going to make it work because I don't really have a choice. Right. Um, but I was going to throw this on my CNC to see if I can if I can round the edges at least on my CNC machine. I don't know if I even want to do that because now it's after okay. I got the it's a, it's just not but okay. now after I got the back box up and with that coming off the back box in a square like that, I think it's gonna look good. Yeah. So I mean looking at you, you know, you're visualizing it. Excuse me, you're visualizing it, but you don't really know how it's gonna look until you put this thing together. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so like I had this whole idea in my head for the back box, and when I put it on today and I looked at it. Like I was, I was having second doubts about the Guitar Hero cab that I designed, and then when I put the back box on top of it, I'm like, "Yeah, there it is." The cab. Like, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. I can't wait to, I can't wait to drill the holes into that and put it in there. Yeah. So tomorrow, that's got to get hung up. Well, maybe not tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, because I got to fill the sides in. Um, it's got to get hung up, and we're gonna have that thing light up by hopefully by Wednesday. We'll have it lit up. So yeah. I'm uh, I'm really excited for that. So that's what I, I was doing cool. today. That was the I completely built the back box today. So I had to dial in a couple things on uh, the screw holes. This is fucking weird, right? And I don't know if you ever encountered this, but maybe you did, maybe you didn't. When I when I'm designing my our arcades in Fusion, um, the last the light gun arcade that I built, I had to you know make adjustments to those uh, sinker holes for the screws on the side, right? It had to, when I made those, when I, the adjustment that I made to it, it has to be 0.41 of an inch round, right? Okay. Just, just under a core, just under a half an inch round. So when I designed the back box in Fusion, I'm like, all right, I already know what the circle has to be, how big it has to be. So I designed it at 0.41 of an inch round, right? And when I cut it, it, it was too small. So the, the head of the screw wouldn't sink in. Mm. So, cause I always check it. Right before I take it off the machine, I always check it because I don't want to have to recut a whole new piece yeah. all over again. So I had to make I had to make an adjustment all the way up to um, it was point fifty three, uh, which was the uh, of an inch. So it huh. was just like a millimeter over a half an inch, right? right? To fit the screw head on there, no fucking idea why. Now, when no you talk screw why. head, you mean like when you fully go in the wood and you want it to be flat? Yeah, yeah, the screw head. You know, well, let me get a screw. Wait, I got a screw rod somewhere. Because um, there's a, I'll send you a picture tomorrow. Because I do, I do it all manually. But there's a, there's a, there's an actual circular bit that square. you could, uh, right. So you go through the wood, and then you want to flat. You want to flush against the wood. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm seeing seeing the wood, I use the CNC machine to make the sinker hole instead of right, me using right. a sinker bit. Because right. um, I can manually do it with a sinker bit if I wanted to, but I don't right. want to do that. I want right. to have the machine to do everything, so I don't have right. to use an, an extra step. Right. Um, so I manually have this. I manually make. It's called a pocket hole. I use a pocket hole to make that sinker bit of just under. It's not a quarter of an inch deep. It's just under a quarter of an inch. Right. Deep. It's like so twenty. The, right. Like, and the screw head is just like it's is just low enough to where we can fill it in. Right. And it's not creating like a huge hole inside it. On, so I, as far as my software wise, I mean, maybe yours does it too, but my software just has, I think I, I said it to you before, mine has like three options where it's either you cut outside the line, right? you cut on the line, or you cut inside the line. Well, that's, so a like, con that's contour. I guess, whatever. The, yeah. what, I have like those three options. So maybe you accidentally so, clicked on like cut outside the line. No. So what you're talking about is a contour cut. The contour cut has um, uh, the left. The It has the left. Um, Probably left, center, right. Le yeah, left, center, right. But center is no offset. So it has a left offset, which goes on the outside. Right. It's got the, it's got the center, which is no offset, period. It's just straight on the line that we made. Right. And the right is the inside offset so it would cut inside the line instead of cutting on the outside right. of the line. I also have an option called a pocket cut. And the pocket cut goes in a circle. Right. 
in, in many ways down instead of just drilling straight it's just a it'll go in a circle then it'll go down and it'll go in a circle right again, yeah yeah go down go in a circle again yeah so i i can't do a contour cut when i'm doing the screw holes i tried and i uh i broke the bit <laughs> wow. because so, it was going straight I, down I, I don't, I don't, and it was almost burning yeah. the wood wow that's yeah. not yeah, it's something just gonna probably maybe just a fluke. Isn't that annoying? Where it's like that one little thing, and then next, you know, yeah. like you try to do the next one, it's gonna it'll be now too big. You're like, what the fuck? The rest know, of it was the, the rest of it. The rest of the design that I did on it when I was cutting it today was absolutely perfect. It was only that spot, and you know, yeah. when I do it, I'm like, okay, well now when now when I'm running that side, you know, I obviously I have to do it the other sides too. I'm right. like, okay, now I know what I got to adjust it on this file before I run the cut. But the way that I do my cuts too is that I run two files per board. So yeah. I'm running the, I'm running the screw holes and the pocket holes for the screws and then I'm switching bits and then I'm running the contour cut which is going to cut the edges of the wood. Got so it. I have to run it two different ones I can't run it on the same one. Yeah, yeah, correct, so, correct. Yeah, but dude, this this guitar hero sign that I got, the polycarbonate. How much uh, did you are you getting like at least numbers now from this guy with the printing cuz that's solid. I would do you know what you paid for that that guitar hero sign? Yeah, I only I mean I don't, I don't want to say live what I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you text me later because that's the hard thing. Because that I, yeah. I, I, that's not. A, I don't even. What did Ray, whatever Ray said, it's definitely not that. <laughs> I don't even want to pay. I don't even want to say how much I'm paying for graphics. I, I'm pretty sure he's just hooking me up. I don't know mm. if those are his actual prices. Mm. I think he's hooking me up because I've gave him because he he does arcades or he has arcades too that I've taken care of for him. So I don't know if he's hooking me up or those are his actual yeah. prices. But it's it's worth it. Yeah, one hundred percent worth it. I'll tell you that. So I'm not not trying to brag or anything, but I'm loving no, no. this. But no, you know, it's it's taking me longer to build now, right? So that's the downfall to it. But it's putting out a better premium product. Yes, it really is, yes. dude. That Jurassic Park arcade that I built, it's fucking solid. Yeah, it's beautiful. You went it like is. above and beyond. You added like that tin and all that, dude. It's not gonna break. I know, it's but the best break. part is now like you building your own man. Yeah, it's like a beautiful thing, man. It's I, different, you know. Not, it's just we're not. And like not you said, it takes time. It's, it's that's time. what it is. You know, once, this isn't no GRS ordered in a week. No. It's it ain't that. It's not the cam lock system. The screw no. holes through the side is probably the best option that I could have ever come up with to do this. Uh, and the most, the more, the most accurate one here and there, I'll have a couple cuts where it's off. Okay. So if one, one screw hole doesn't line up, but the bottom one does. Okay, fine. Give me a fucking two inch screw zip. It's in. yeah. cover the yeah. hole, right? You know, it's done and it's in and it's locked in place. That's all that we need to do. Those screw holes, whoever, when you buy for these for me, you're never going to be able to take them apart in the first right. place because you know, the screws are growing in the side. And then I'm sealing that off with wood filler, and then the graphics going over the top of it. Yeah, that, that's dude. Those screws are locked in place. Yeah, yeah. That's well, really how honestly, is, really, that's how real arcades were built. Yeah, you yeah. have like one or two big bolts that you can actually physically see, but everything else is usually stapled in and all that. Everything's stapled like that. And nailed. Yeah, they were that's exactly how we were doing arcades, it. That's the way to do it. Like if you're exactly. doing kits, that's a different start. Kit, the yeah. biggest thing is when I saw the casters. Dude, when I saw that the orange casters and you bought like the fucking heavy, the heavy those fucking ones. casters are. I like it when you say casters. It's ca <laughs> I say casters. <laughs> I'm like, yo, those casters are fucking monsters. But I was it's... talking to my brother about that the other day, and he goes, "Do you use casters?" And yeah. I'm like, "Casters? No, He's like, they're called <laughs> no, casters." casters. Like, you, you were on like She Lion. Those. I think you were on like Rascal, and you yeah. said casters, and I was like, "What, was, <laughs> dude? You were the second besides my brother the other day. You were the second person that has ever corrected me on that. I, I say casters. Really, There's I no e. <laughs> it's an well, there is that key. I'm sorry, no, there is an e. There is yeah. an e. Yeah. Let's well, let let Chinese guy talk to you about English. It's casters. Whatever, <laughs> casters. But, but that yeah, I, mean, I was, I was hoping. I mean, if you still have it, man, if you can make a quick video and, dude, it's. Like I said, people always comment when I move my cab. They're like, wow, you could just move it effortlessly. Like, you just got to make a video of you moving that cab. Yeah. It's a thing of beauty. It Casters is. are a thing of beauty. And then not to mention, again, you can't do that with no GRS. You got the real wood well, down. It's, it's mine amazing. is on the felt slides, and I'm trading that into Vic. <laughs> so, yeah. My, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I, just, I, I'm just so happy. Like I said, now, and you witness it. That's the biggest thing now. You're witnessing it where it's like, it takes time to build it. You know, it, it takes oh, I time. Went, I went, oh, so for everyone was watching, I went to Vic's house, like, and I, I moved his arcade physically, like. You moved both of them. Yeah, you moved like two of them out because I wanted to bring my own um, light gun built. 
because um, they just I modified did, everything. It took a button out. Hyper spin. <laughs> I gave him the audio <laughs> wired through. It was a full mod. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I literally put my own LEDs, I put my own PC, I plugged in my own guns, because I'm not playing with his aim tracks. Yeah, he wasn't putting my aim tracks. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that, it took me, like, what, 15 minutes? That's why I came early to your house. Because yeah, was, it wasn't too bad. You did it pretty quick. I you took longer putting the LEDs on the TV. Yeah. I wanted to prep it so that, like, you know, Brad and, and Chad could have, like, you know, some... some fun. No, thought, it was a good idea. It was a good I idea. Feel, I would have yeah. ran Area 51 and called it a day. Yeah, Look, I, got, I got the idea from the casters from you. You um, have to, that, man. I appreciate I, that. I'm glad I helped in that end. Yeah. But well, number time, one thing that I get from people is that they actually move. They move the me personally. They do my buy Vic because I mean because of the streaming setup. I kind of have to move it just to like like uh, you know coordinate where it is. But they do get moved. I got this one uh, this one customer down in Carolina, and he has. We've done so many upgrades to it and changed things, and then I've had to change the drives, and the PC failed, and we had to replace the PC all within the past year. Like he has gone in and out of that game room solutions cabinet more times than he wants to fucking admit, and yeah. it's uncomfortable for him to get in there too. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, and he's got to slide it out, and it's in his garage. You know, and the more you slide it, the more you're gonna fuck up the bottom of that wood too. Uh, and yes. I don't. I never wanted to put ca- casters on those casters. I never you wanted to put those on it. You can still call it casters, right? Ray, you want. Ray, Ray put them on his ones, and he told me that his bottom caved in from the wind. Yeah, so I tried. I wanted to add casters on mine, not because I wanted to move it. Mine is, mine is stationary, right? But the problem was I wanted to elevate it about, like, uh, two inches to add underglow LEDs because, you know, look at my place. You know, yeah. I wanted to make it glow. Fucking in the middle of like 11 p.m. while you know I was in bed with my wife, I fucking hear a giant crash. Oh shit! It was the arcade. Like, like you know, four thousand dollar arcade with my PC and my my LED my LCD marquee literally yeah. broke down and crashed into my floor. Oh shit! Yeah, it literally just crashed straight down because the casters. Because the way GRS was made was like a, it, it's one square panel, right? And then like four sides. They don't have a support. They don't have any support. Well, it's not even that. In, in all honesty, like for you, just sorry to interrupt, Ray. The, if it, you know what's very funny is that when I, I built so many Thanks GRS you, cabs, that bottom panel, I don't know how you guys it's put weak. it, it's but weak. you really should put it with the screw in the cabinet. You should be screwing in. Yeah. Because again, you that 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 cam lock, it has that's thick. That hole is half the wood is gone. No, the, the cam- so you took out the support. So you it it, it went actually, right through. So what 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 it is is the, the GRS is, is sitting on the four sides of the of the arcade. Right, right. and so then it's, if you're on the floor, so it's, it's no big deal. Okay, you know credit where credit is due. It's fine. But I had a caster to the center because I wanted the the LEDs. Yeah. yeah, and then of course the pressure pushes up on, on the center, and it, it literally just goes. Uh, imagine these are four walls, center, pop. Yep. And then wow. what happens? It just wow. fell straight down, and it, it was a huge crash. It was terrifying. And, That's why uh, like, you didn't break a screen, like your TV. I didn't, didn't break a screen. I didn't break wow. anything. Luckily, I the inside, uh, like the, you know, two little things cracked a little bit here and there, but easily fixed. Uh, you know, for me, not a big deal. But yeah, you cannot add casters to a GRS uh, arcade. If you leave it stationary, no big deal. They're using that <laughs> soft MDF wood. It's not the same type of wood that Vic's using or that I'm using now. It's no, a soft no, Vic's is a it's very soft. nice. Um, it's a, he's got a nice plywood birch. going on. Yeah, I got the laminated yeah. birch. The Ray right. saw it. Ray's like, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Like it's, it's a got, thing of beauty. I mean, even what birch. Joe's using, Joe's using it as definitely higher quality than the Game of Solutions stuff. And it absolutely it is. So and again, for you to be able to put those four casters and move it, and you could see like it's it's hard oh, as a yeah. rock. I was so. I usually use do- I usually use the roller dollies. In the garage, I usually put the arcade. Yeah, you could put the GRS cabs on that. Yes. Yeah. You can, but so That's the first, the the first Guitar same. Hero build that I ever did from Game Room Solutions, the first full size big boy, I I had to use two dollies. Yeah. That to sit on for me to move it around. Right. The bottom caved in from the weight. Yeah. I'm that honest, cabinet, that cabinet whenever alone, I do GRS, I put it on the two side panels. So I it's just, never on the base. It's on the actual. I side know. Panel. I mean, it was, it was so yeah. big. I had to center it. Wow. So I had them in the center, but it caved in for me moving it around. So I had to reinforce the bottom of it. 
And that cabinet, just the cabinet by itself, that uh, the their Guitar Hero cabinet with nothing inside it is like 200 pounds. Oh, shit. And then when you add the TV, you're adding the PC to it. And yeah, I, use, I use it. I use a dot that the speakers, those eight inch yeah. speakers to it, you're adding a lot of weight to it. That's why I eliminated the speaker panel or the speakers on the front of my game or my Guitar Hero Arcade. They're just the, the grills with the LEDs inside it. And then a Vizio soundbar will be inside it on a board um, so that it eliminates some of that weight. So that, you know, yeah. when I could put it on the casters, and I also did use casters. I use casters. <laughs> I did cam. So that one I made as a cam lock system. But to reinforce it, I use um, corner plates on the inside of it also on that's every smart. single corner. There's, yeah, so that's why you you right. have a piece over the cam lock. That's that's exactly. really the way you should do it, yes. And then I'm going to put it – I didn't put it on casters yet. I have the casters in the garage, the same exact ones, the orange ones. Those are going to be the only ones that I use because they're a good price. Um, but I'm going to put those casters on, the, on, the, on that Guitar Hero cabinet too. So, you know, I want – I was more focused on building the light gun cabinet than it was the um, the Guitar Hero cabinet, and I started the Guitar Hero cabinet first. And that cu- that customer's been waiting. I'm so sorry, but I'm I want my light gun cabinet to be like the light gun cabinet. Yeah, like, you want I to put, be perfect. Yeah, I wanted to be perfect, but I put my heart and soul into that. I love making the light gun arcades, and I'm I'm no I was known for making light. I gun feel like arcades. you are. Yeah, anytime I think light and, gun, I think you. Right, not and gun. Gun is Ray, but light gun build. It's, right, I'm in, right here. Twenty three. <laughs> I didn't have that many light gun arcades in twenty three as I did in twenty two, and that could be because some other companies came into the country too. But I want my, I want mine to be like the arcade that people are like. I want the retro lizard one. I don't want it from this person. I want this one because this thing yep. is fucking awesome. You know, so it's the graphics, it's the LCD marquee, it's tinting the plexi, um, well, now, the whole yeah. night. and tinting the plexi. Is not easy. No, you, you're not supposed to tint plexi because of all the bubbles that show up inside it. Yeah, it shows defects very easily. So that was a pain in the ass to do it. I tinted that plexi three different times. Did you get like so, an Amazon roll? I did. I had to buy. I need. It, was it like a fucking tight fucking roll and yeah, like? It was like a poster. Right, but like when I did Chad's, I used it was a small one. Dude, they rolled it so tight that even if I pulled it apart, it just it like it went right back to poster. Oh, like yeah, oh. yeah. So did mine. So I, I, what I ended up doing was hosing it down with um, soapy water, and then I, I put it on the plexi, like the the non sticky side. I put it on the plexi, just just like keep it flat, and then I um I I used the teeth trick, used the teeth trick in the corner to get the film off to start the film to oh yeah yeah, up. and then I pulled it off, and then I hosed it down again, and then I flipped it over, and that's when Wait, I started doing my thing. Why not just use and the- a heat gun, yo? If you ever do that. Get a heat gun. I have because, that heat gun. Yeah. I, I, be, I I sometimes use it on the vinyl just in case I got to get a bubble out. Yeah, that's you got to be careful with vinyl because especially gotta... with gloss. I one time had the gloss melt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also yeah. you can stretch the vinyl too. Right. Is, yes. Yeah. So you don't want to stretch the vinyl. No. But the, I learned that I had to use heat around the the edges of the uh, of the plexi. With this the, way, just kind of so that so, so the tint would adhere to it better. So I did get a different kind of um, the Guitar Hero. I'm going to use a polyester tint instead of a vinyl tint. I'm going to see how that holds on it. It's tint. It's still 20% tint, but the material is polyester as opposed to it being a vinyl tint for a car. So hopefully that does a little bit better because um, it really was a pain in the ass to get all those bubbles out. It's you probably spent all day perfect. doing that one tint. Wait, what, I did. It's, it's glass. still not... like, Use a tinted glass. Glass is ah. so better, dude. Glass is gonna shatter. Oh, it's it's very yeah, pricey. Yeah. Glass isn't cheap. Glass no. is not cheap. And I got. I got. I can't. I, I can't cut glass. I can no, cut no, 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 no. C- I can cut the plexi on the CNC, but I can't yeah. cut glass on the CNC. Um, either way, I was. I put my heart and soul into that gun cabinet, and I just wanted it to be fucking super impressive. And dude, the first time when I put those side graphics on it, mm-hmm. I was just like, "This is it." Yep. This is. How it, long did it take you to do graphics? Did it take you all day for a graphic? No. Really? No. I'm usually I, for me. It's about forty minutes for one big side. No. So for me, I'm like, all right, I'm tired. No, <laughs> it, I probably fifteen minutes for the side. Wow. Not yeah, bad. I'm pretty. I've done so many arcade one of graphic mods, and I was using the soapy water trick with those. Mm. With these graphics, I don't have to. Yeah. I take um. So what? I, I line it up on the side, and then I take um. What do you, you call it? Put like a weight in the middle. No, I got uh. uh I got clamps. Okay. Uh, with rubber edges on them, so it doesn't yep. affect the so it doesn't affect the graphic. Uh, I put two clamp. I put actually four clamps. So I put 
I center it and then I put the clamps in the center and then I put maybe about six more inches down. I put two more clamps down going towards right. the bottom of it. Yeah. Flip, flip the top over it, slice Steel. it. Right. And then yeah. I start slowly, slowly. Like I have it like I have, I have the graphic like over my left arm and I'm like pushing with my right arm. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Like, you're pull, I, you're pushing yeah. the, the, the glue adhesive, like adhesive off of it. I hear you. Right. Well, I want, I'm pushing it, like getting it on the board, just like yeah. trying to like, I want it to be like, I try to do it tightly so that yeah. I can avoid the, avoid the bubbles. Yeah. And then when I'm doing the bottom, so I do it in, and I cut it in half and I do it in two sections. When I do right. the bottom section, um, I flip the, the, the backing still on it. So I just lift it up a little bit. Right. And, and then I, you push, go. I push the squeegee or that plastic thing as tight as I can up to it. And I just keep hitting it and keep hitting right. it and keep hitting it. So it's nice and tight. Yeah. So it avoids all the bubbles. Yeah. Um, Cause though that shit, I, when I was doing the term, the, the, the test one on the Terminator bar top, I didn't realize how many bubbles would end up inside it without doing the wet trick. And yeah. I was just like, I went over it real fast and the vinyl just like pinched and creased. Oh, and I was like, Oh shit. That's the worst. When you, when <laughs> yeah. you, when you pinch and crease a vinyl, that's gone. Oh, it's you, gone. Yeah. You can't get it out. <laughs> well, I, I learned a trick to get it out. You gotta use a heat gun. But you would have to kind of pull up yeah. and then heat, like not a lot though. I, no. Yeah, it's, it's you got to pull it up and you got to rub the heat gun on it and then you push it in a little bit and then you rub the heat gun a little bit more. For me, there. even if yeah. I do that, it's like you know it's there, so you permanently see it there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could I could see it when I see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. I was I was poor, and the, the one thing I always have in my head too is I got one shot. Yep. I got That's one it. shot, you know what yep. I mean? I, cause I'm so used to ordering the graphics and then waiting like three to four weeks for the graphics to come in. So I'm like, I now I can order a graphic on Monday and have it on Wednesday, maybe Thursday. That's depending solid. on how busy his week is. He's really fast with his turnaround time. So I, I'm solid. really grateful on that. Um, but you know, I still in my head, I'm like, I got one shot, you know, I yep. don't want to have to text this dude and be like, Oh, because I can text him. So I don't want to have to text my graphic. guy. I'm like, ah, can you reprint this? I fucking, yeah. you know? So, yeah. No, that's solid. That's 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 why I said I'm interested to see um I I the guitar hero thing I, I like. I didn't think you were going to go with an octagon. I thought you were going to actually edge out the guitar hero word. So, I thought that I was going to originally do that, but that pocket cut into the wood is yeah. like a 2-hour cut. So, I'm like I, I don't want to spend, I don't want the machine. No, I wouldn't actually cut it like to the that. wood. I thought you were going to do the Guitar Hero logo and then you put the, the three sticks and just have it levitating out. I like the octagon look. The square look, I think the with the box that you made, I think the square should look pretty good. Yeah. So I'm anxious to see that. I'm, I'm more anxious to see the actual light behind it. Yeah, so am I. I want to see how well that's going to come out. Can you actually do it real quick on that red and blue? Like you have your LED right there. Can you just do it real quick? Well, it's got yeah, a, shut off, shut off. It's got like, a film you, on the back can, of it. Oh, it does look good, actually. Yes. And that, hang on, there's there's a film on the back of it still. Later on, send me a picture of the side of that. Hold on, hold on. Well, don't take it off because you don't no, want to. I'm just going to peel the, the film up a little bit because I can put the film back on. I want to see what the, the inside of it is because you said it's polycarbonate? It's just a white polycarbonate. So, well, I mean, it, it's a clear polycarbonate, but he printed it as a white. So let's see what the difference is. So I'm, I got it peeled back. So you can see where I got it peeled. Yeah. Oh, you see it more. Yeah. Yeah, it comes out, out more. So it's got to light it up real nicely. Yeah, that's why I'm very, I'm very, and again, that's, but that's basically like a piece of, it's like almost like plexiglass, right? It's like a thicker plexiglass. Right. Um, yeah, basically. I could probably, if I had a clear one of this, I could probably tint it better. Um, but yeah, it's like a clear, it's a, it's like a plexiglass, but it's more plasticky. Than it yeah. Is it's more about like what you're, I, cause I was looking at, um, it's not going to crack as easy as a plexi. No, no. I was no. more, I'm looking at a company. I was actually gonna, um, it's very, it's, I don't know why I thought of, of this. Oh no. I actually saw, oh, remember, um, remember a while back I asked you if you could 3d print the Nintendo logo. Yeah. yeah. No, so no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just the logo. It's the logo. It's, you got it right we're not, back we're there. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. No, 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 no. No. I found a company that they'll actually do um a generic printing. Generic printing. Generic printing. Gen <laughs> it'll be. It'll be. It'll, it's actually like um. It's like that, but it's. I wouldn't call it glass, 
but it's like clear with like the logo on it. So I would wonder it's probably polycarbonate. What's, what's the dimensions that you have on that guitar hero? What do you mean the dimensions? Like you want the like the, the sign? Like what's the what's the square on that? 30? 18 by 18. Really? Yeah. That thing looks much bigger than 18 by 18. That's right. It's what fucking, she looks huge, but yeah, no, it's 18 by 18. That's what she said too. Uh, yeah, it is what she said, right? Oh, yeah, I got it. 18 by 18. Now. Dude, yeah. the feel of it though, the the feel of the the print on it, like you know, Sasbo fucking reverse prints the art, reverse princes on his plexi, right? Right. This is printed directly on it, and it's like sealed in. Like this is it's sexy. It's, it's very super nice. Sexy. So, hey uh, Brian, I have no idea Brian? who you are, but uh, that's one of Joel's customers, apparently. Uh, yes, I believe so. Thanks, Brian. Thank, appreciate the congratulations on that. So I appreciate that a lot. You know what's funny about me doing that like on arcade is like I got a few comments on there and like, oh, you build these. What else do you? What else? <gasps> oh yeah. shit! What happened? Wait, what? I want a fucking Nintendo Switch bundle on fucking Instagram. Really? Holy shit! Hey, from nice. uh, from the waffle. From the waffle. But like Bill Tendo's waffle? No, from fucking so Brian Vasquez. He's on Instagram. He is raffles, raffle z r s, and I just won a Nintendo Switch bundle, and it has the OLED Switch for Zelda. It has wow. Castlevania. Yo, fuck, the nice. Wow, fuck! And then it has. Really? Here, go follow. Go follow this guy, dude. Go wait, 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 wait. I'm Everybody in here right now, if shit. you're on Instagram... Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I'm going to go to it now. Hold on. If you're on Instagram, go follow this guy right now because he does raffles on Instagram. Waffles. And Waffles. they're like $5, $10, $2 <laughs> raffles per spot. Buy as many spots as you want. And I usually buy two. In this case, I think I bought four. Ah. Uh, I think they were $5 a spot. So it was it was 20 bucks. So I just won all this for 20 bucks. Got what, the what? Princess Peach game. Yeah. I can't. Let me see if I can... All right, I, you know I, I'm not an Instagram guy, but for this I'll I'll, I'll play. I'll play. Uh, fuck, was my phone? <laughs> <laughs> How much did you play? What was uh? What did you put for the? Wow. All right, I I got money. I'll, I'll play some raffles. I don't gamble anymore, so I'll do this. All right, let's see. Yeah, this dude, this dude does raffles all the time, man. So let me uh, hang on. Is it the whole bundle? Yeah. So the Nintendo Switch bundle. So it comes with uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda Tears of. Tears of the Kingdom, OLED Switch, Castlevania Advance Collection, Perky Little Things, and the Princess Peach Showdown. It was $5 wow. a spot, no max, 200 spots, and I bought four. Wow. Yeah, and I just won it. So I just won all that for 20 bucks. Holy shit. So that is the second Zelda OLED Switch that I have. <laughs> wow. So, well, actually, I have no need for it, honestly. No, I'm probably, maybe we'll do a giveaway. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we'll do a giveaway. I haven't. I, I'll, I'll make a decision later on. But yeah, I got an OLED switch on top of that switch uh, <sighs> thing right over there. So yeah, go follow this guy. I, everybody's like all quiet now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody's like looking at it. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, no, you I, pull them up. Did you find them? Uh, hold on. Hang on, I'll, I'll send it to you in. Uh, yeah, just send it to me in the, in the Facebook group. Um, no, no, I have two friends that were just asking me for like to to send them money on Venmo. Because uh, <laughs> send money, Ray. No, they, they, once in a while they, they need. They, it's just to avoid like banking stuff. Like they, they, they just they just want to. Um... I just sent him a messenger. He does raffles all the time. Like I'm I'm in raffles maybe like two or three two or three raffles a week on Instagram, uh -huh. and I owe I'm just dropping twenty bucks. Like here's twenty bucks. Here's twenty bucks. Whether I'm getting two spots or four spots, you win, you win. You don't, you don't. You go to the next one. I win a couple times a year actually. Yeah, I feel like you've recently won something else before. I The last thing that I won, I think, was um, I won last week, and I was the second place winner, and the guy had a second place prize, which was Super Mario U for the Switch. I already have it. And then um, a Mario controller for the Nintendo Switch, too, in box. Ah. So both of them are brand new. I, I followed him. His logo is uh, Egg Yolk, apparently. Yeah, it's like it looks like an egg. Uh, let me see if I could. While you guys are talking about that, I was, I'm still thinking about that Guitar Hero thing. Let me show you what I got on. So uh, that's what. So if I do a marquee, this is how all my marquees are going to come now. They're all going to be printed just like that. Hold on, let me show you this because, like I said before, um, 
I asked you about the 3D print, and then I found this company. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need a 3D print. This actually looks to be cheaper. And not to mention, it's going to look way nicer. So I'm actually going to do, I'm doing the end company um, with Mario and the screwdriver. And like the old, school, the old school, like call center. That's awesome. <laughs> so wait, let me, let me. Um... Oh, I did. I, that's what I did. I was um, in, in, uh, I was in Brian's raffle another week ago and I won Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's oh, what? Dragon's Dogma 2. It just came out for PS4. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So twenty bucks, and I won a seventy dollar game. So, yeah. So pull up this website. Let's see it. Or unless you don't want to share it with the world. <laughs> no, no. I just gotta. I'm on the website, but I'm trying to find the actual thing. Hold on. Oh, here we go. And honestly, because you said you did eighteen by eighteen. Yeah. Uh. All right. So this thing is called Zog Monster. Hold on. Vic, if you uh, need something, just ask, man. I'll. I'll I'm gonna show yeah. you this, and you might be able to use this. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, sorry, like Raul. Oh, yeah, I just, I just have to send. Him, I, I just have to send him the file and tell him dimensions for for like the marquee. I just have to send him the file and send him dimensions. He's pretty much only he he's pretty much only printing the the marquees and squares. Okay, can um, you see? Can but, you see my screen? Yeah, here we go. So you see Zog Monster. Ooh, uh, nice. yeah, it says zogmonster.com custom acrylic size. So eighteen by eighteen. You have you could do the two screw mounts. It's 50 bucks. It's not bad. No, so it's like, it's, it's like, but the biggest thing is that it's, you could actually, it's, it's the outline of Guitar Hero. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's basically, I mean, that would be cool if it was the outline of it too. That looks like an actual clear plexi. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm going to probably aim for like the, again, you can see that. So it's like the 18 by 16. Yeah. Uh, it looks it cool. Looks like you, it, it, it looks like you can see you can see through it still. Oh, so, true, and you have LEDs. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's kind of map the out the LED. Uh, well, no, I think honestly, you might be able to put the white. You might be able to make the white. <laughs> if you give him a white and tell, I'm sure if you tell the dude to make the whole thing white with the cover on it that it will probably work out better. But yeah, you want that plexi to be clear. You don't want it to be clear. You want it to be, you want it to be covered. Right. It's, I guess this is the best picture to see it. And the, yeah. the, the coolest thing is that it does have the, it's got the, the two mounts there. It is. That's super cool that he's already has it mounted like that too. I like that he did the outline of it. Okay. I want one. Right. That's what I like. I like the outline. So like I said, I was looking at the, the, the Nintendo call center number, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the actual, like, uh, I'll try to find the pictures of it, but yeah, that I was gonna, I would recommend that. I would say that because you can see, you can't see his hand, right? Well, you can see if you look up, you can see, you can see his thumb. thumb, yeah, right. But, but like you said, if maybe you could ask him to do white, and again, I mean, I doing that, you know, with the LEDs behind it, it might give you like a, it might give you a marquee style look. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I'm, gonna, I'm obviously just gonna keep sticking with the guy that I got, but yeah, no, no. I just again, I, I mean, you see it there for fifty bucks. I don't think it's it's you not that bad of a try. Bucks. So no, and for anybody else in the chat that's looking to get a marquee like that, a customized marquee for their arcade, that would be perfect for it. Fifty yeah, bucks. I was, I was very surprised, right? I'm like fifty bucks, like shit. I yeah. like they're printing out the LCD marquee holders for the arcade one ups. Nobody prints those. For the for the digital marquees, the LCD marquees. Oh yes, nobody, nobody prints those and sells sells those at all. Everybody just sells the regular marquee that's translate. So I might start doing, I might start putting those together and selling the LCD marquee holder with the LCD marquee built inside it already. So that all you got to do is just plug. Yeah, it the holders right is, is a big thing. Like yeah, make a clip, you know, to to mount on Universal TVs. That well, yeah, you asked me to do that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's another idea that I was thinking is I just get that file and I make adjustments to it and make it into a square. So I could break, I can make a square one for it. It's the same thing as what I did on the uh, Jurassic Park arcade, just the, the contour. Just box and all honestly, if I ever, I mean, I don't really need it, but if I was ever doing like my Konami cabinet, if I had to do a marquee print, I'll be honest, and we might say, might hate it, but Game Room Solutions has honestly the best marquee print because they use. Translate. They use a, I, it's called like the back uh, shadow box or whatever it is. That's really like a marquee print. So, and honestly, GRS is cheap. 
That's Maybe. how I did my my. Uh, I'll be honest, and again, no offense to Angel, but right. Angel did my All Stars, and uh, the black when you put an LED behind it, it kind of turned gray. Not oh. black enough. <laughs> Whereas, like, if I but but his it wasn't like uh, it's like I said GRS the Neo Geo Cab has an actual. Like it's like a I don't know how to explain it. It's a very it's nice translate. paper. It's translate. But it's not paper. You know what I mean? It's yeah. called translate. It's translate. Yeah. yeah. So that I mean that's the thing. Angel didn't use translate on my all stars. You know who and, else uh, had a pretty decent translate was um, ArcadeGraphics.com. Tyler. That's, uh, Tyler, right? Yeah, Tyler. Tyler printed my. Uh, Tyler printed my because Justin's uh, unfortunately his mom his mom passed away. He couldn't do my artwork for the all stars cab. Yeah. So I bought the artwork from Tyler, but I'll be honest, it was it was it was expensive. It was, and he's it using three M. And and yeah. honestly, the, the Tyler, uh, I mean, Justin, I think is using the same stuff, and it wasn't it wasn't double the price. You know, that was one of the things that I'm like, I need a graphic guy. Who am I going to go to for graphics? I don't want to spend four or five hundred dollars on graphics. Yeah, no. Wait, like, do you mean to design or to print? The print. No, print. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to do thing. that. That's, that's also wait. like I made a when I made I did Chad's video. Those didn't go out yet, but again, Gaston Design. I paid him like I think it was one hundred and twenty bucks for the design. Right. But so who printed it? Justin. Justin did. Okay. So I did one twenty for Gaston, and then the V pin. Justin charged me two forty. You can't beat that. No, and I, I've, I, Justin is the is an uh, an awesome dude. And I, it's kind of weird also, cause B B did a, a stream like a week or two ago, mm -hmm. and he went to Justin's website and it said like, oh, we are no longer like taking orders, but I don't order from Justin from his website. I actually message him directly on Facebook. Right. Well, I mean, you've been doing business with him for so long. He's probably yeah. So I feel like he sees me and he just kind of right. answers. If you don't, let me know and I'll yeah. No, that's that's why I'm like I'm like I, if anything on the next print, I'll send it to you. And, or uh, I mean, again, the, the main thing is the guys probably gonna say I just need the, the dimensions and they usually charge square footage. So I was like, all right, no, you know, I'll ask you, you and then ship it. So you have to have the file ready for him to print. Yeah, yeah, so, that's add your bleed into it. So what I ended right. up doing was I added an inch and a half bleed. Right, all the way around, so I have that extra bleed on it, right? Um, so that I don't run into any issues, especially yep. if like I cut, if I have to do a contour cut or an inside cut or a outside cut on the machine. Yep. So, um, I do an inch and a half bleed all the way around, or just I just actually just I design it and then I just make the file in Photoshop. I just add on an inch and a half. Right. So you got to be careful with that because right because there's stressful. two ways you could do it. You might be blowing up the image an right. inch and a half or like for me, it, your image stays, but then all of a sudden you get like the inch and a half like clear border. Right. And that's where I, I get the clear border. And that's good. where I end up taking the image and then I and just then, make the adjustment to the actual image. Good. So I'm not stretching that's, it out. That's the way it's doing. Good, good. good. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I thought of that stuff when I was. My only there. thing, like, so I, I mean, I'm, I, I don't want to ask you here, but like, you know, because you're using Gaston for one or two builds. My thing with Gaston was like, I mean, it was it's a it's a vintage Williams Bride of Pinbot artwork, so it's not like he can't add stuff. Right. But I took Gaston's thing and I did modify it. I added more to it. So I don't know if Gaston's the type that he's going to charge me for a revision. I don't know. I don't know. So don't know. No, you know, no, I paid. I basically, in my eyes, I'm like, okay. And I said in the video, I'm like, I paid 120, but it's like it was exact copy Bride of Pinbot Williams 1991. It's not like I said to them, like, hey, I need Jurassic Park, and I want to put this head, right. and I want this. So I don't know I mean, what he's going to charge for that. But, yes, it's $120 just to get the graphic designer to do that I one think, Williams thing. should be reasonable. Like, I, well. It is, wait, but. Wait, can you design your own graphics, Vic? I'll be honest, and I mentioned it in Chad's video. Um, it's Honestly, bro, it's, it's probably going to be much better to just get Gaston to do it. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it, and I'll, I'll charge my normal rate. Yeah. But like you know, it's kind of it's different. You know what I mean? I write like a five year old, so it's like, so do you want me to sign your paper, or do we want to get like Picasso to like, sign it? If you want I, Picasso, I you love, can pay for I, it. I love doing the graphics. It's a pain in the ass. I like doing I it too, but it. it's it's at it's at a point now where, in all honesty, like for me, I'm very picky. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, Gaston, he could find like high res images and all that. So I'm like, yeah. So if you want, if you want, I got a guy for that because um, my guy Andro, he, he does my my fight stick, you know, design artwork and everything. Do you know how much this was? Fifteen dollars for the just the design. Just to design and, and make it and add, add the graphics and the clouds and whatever I want or the button labels. Yeah. This is the most reliable guy I've been using for the last five years. And um, yeah, like I, I don't know Gaston at all, but like basically from what I know, right, to do these things, there's two schools. One is collage style, meaning that they'll, they'll take graphics from like, you know, the web and mix it together and making it your own, meaning designing like new graphics from scratch Correct. designing new graphics is very expensive like three hundred yeah. dollars plus and yeah. i respect that I, I i know artists i slept with artists you know <laughs> but if you want to do collage style maybe 50 to 150 bucks is normal yeah that, that I, or I, can. I can do it myself for free right so i don't mind doing it myself it's just but like at this you gotta sit and then it's like you know, you're gonna send it and that guy's gonna be like, "Hey, man, I need this to be, you know. Can you move this?" And yeah. I'll still do I, it, but I don't know, have. The, I, 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 so I, I, I ended up. I ran into that before, and I ended up telling customers. After that customer, I ended up telling customer, "All right, I'm gonna start the design, but just to give you a heads up, we're only gonna do three revisions." Yeah. So you got to pick one of the three. We're not going over three. I'm not sitting here doing it twenty times. Blah blah blah. Right. So I had one customer, twenty seven. Revision. Oh. I'm, I'm just the left. I'm not kidding. I'm just. It's. It was the pinball lady, just on the left side, and it wasn't even the pinball arcade. It was her two player arcade. So it was the left side, and it was. It was a really difficult graphic because she wanted her dogs on it, and I just. I. I was getting like writer's block. I couldn't figure out how to align the dogs correctly and just make <laughs> it look right. And we did twenty seven revisions on just one on side. the left on the one side because you got to do the left side. Yeah, I do. The, I start with the left side, and then we move over to the rest of it. Yeah, so that because then you have your base of what you're going to be working off of, and how you're kind of going to do it, and it'll start to flow. So yeah, 27 revisions on the left side, and I'm like, I'm never again. I'm like, we'll yeah, cap dude. it at three. And then when I did her next arcades, I told her that I'm like, look, we will cap that at three. I'm like, yeah. you got to choose one of the three. I'm not doing this a million times. I just don't have the time. Like, yeah, I'm not, I it sat there it, dude, it for like a month. Time. For like the a worst month and is a half, if like I just somebody, sat there and did it. I've had, like I said, I've had somebody, and I get it. It's okay. You have a vision, and like yeah. you know, let's say you want to do Marvel. Like, okay, cool. We'll put like five Marvel characters, and it's like you know what, Vic? It's too chaotic. Can we just do like Incredible Hulk? <laughs> and like, and now it's like, oh, you know what? Can we add like Captain? And now you're like, oh, who, 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 right, well, who's to is Hulk? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just naming just random shit. Hypothetical. <laughs> So I, I usually have like I always have the idea in my head, you know, less is more when it comes yeah. to doing a, an arcade and or when you're designing the graphics for an arcade because originally they were real basic. And so I always tell customer, I'm like, let's either replicate the original design as best as we can, or let's create a theme to it and like collage the theme up, you know, in a in a sexy way. Right. So I'm doing a horror theme for a pedestal for horror villains. Um, so we're I'm gonna be doing something like that. Uh, coming up and then one of my friends i actually it was bill tendo bill tendo wanted me to design him a um oh i heard video, i heard the video, stream i heard him video, say yeah a video yeah. game horror thing yeah for the horror villains in video games okay that's that's going to be a fun one too that's going to be unique and interesting to do but i think uh but when it comes to the movie horror guys you know there's five horror guys that we're going to do and we're going to collage around these to make it look sexy you know one side's going to be freddy the other side's going to be like jason you okay. know, the middle, I'll put them together, and then the deck will put them together too. But it's, it's, I always just think less is more. The Jurassic Park arcade, yeah. the Jurassic Park arcade was um, three photos it was yeah. the logo, um, it was the caution tape, and then it was, I'm sorry, it was four, fo or four photos. So it was the, the logo, the caution tape, um, a, a tropical silhouette background, and then the T Rex head. Yeah. That I had to cut out and adjust and throw in there. Um, and then the tropical background is what gave it some life around the T-Rex hut. So right. it was four photos, four high-res photos that I that I mixed together. And then I ended up changing the um, 
uh, the way that it looked, there's that drop down in Photoshop where it's like vivid, lighter, darker, oh, darker, yeah, yeah. Dark burn, heavy, darker, burn. you know, dissolve. Yeah. I was going through there to see how it would look if I flipped it together. And I got to that one and I was just like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, yeah. That's it. You know, it's when you're designing graphics, though, you get those. Sometimes you, you get those writer blocks where you're trying yeah. to get it to flow and it, it just nothing's working for you. Right? Yeah. And and, and then, just to get to that point, you've yeah. already looked at it like for two hours. Right. And then <laughs> I, I sit down and I take a break from it for a couple of days. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, I'm in the mood for it. I'll go back to it on like a late Sunday night or like a Saturday night. And then it just it flows. Yeah. And then when it do when you got it to flow, you're flowing with it like you're you're rolling on it, man. Did you see the did you see the Hudson Park one that I was doing? The Facebook one? Did I show you guys the Facebook one? Oh. There, hang on. Let me see if I got it. Oh, oh actually, I saw the uh, Eric's uh, Joker graphic for his pinball. I, I like that one. I like Batman themes. They they got muted. Oh, Vic's mic died. I, I no, I think I just pressed the button by accident, but it looks you like it's the <laughs> got the it's it's like uh, on and off. It off. <laughs> they have uh, a Family Guy bowling now. I I didn't know that. Fuck, I, I, I like Family Guy. I watch um, it. Every oh. Family Guy bowling, really? What's right. Family Guy bowling? I, I actually like Simpsons bowling. Yeah, that we can buy and play. Uh, What's what are we talking about? That they even busted. Oh, so. While, while they're distracted, look, check this out. USB-C to DC converter cable is a trigger cable. You can power your gunfire recoil with this cable now. So what I've been doing is using my uh, USB-C uh, plug to save uh, an outlet and just powering two guns with this. Isn't that sexy? Yeah. I like the, I like the recoil. Did yeah. you have to? Did you have to coil that and then put a heat gun to it, or you? Oh, it it came like this. I actually bought like I bought two of them, but 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 this is like eight bucks. It's very cheap. I would. Oh, so oh, I want to give you guys a little bit of news. Um, JB's uh, DIY PCB Gun Con One and Gun Con Two SMD PCBs are done. Like it's been right. about three months, but we're finally ready, and. Uh, I can. I'm, I'll have them in about in about like two three weeks. Really? Maybe. Yes. Wow. So for the DIY community, right? Uh, like you know, Brad making us Nerf gun, and then people who want to make their own shit, right? Uh, there's gonna be twenty something less solder points. You only have to solder on your camera and your buttons, and that's it. It'll well. take, yeah. And we are not gonna raise the price at all because actually it's lowering our costs. So yeah. Everyone's going to be able to make guns cheaper. Um, and we're going to, you know, do business faster. That's it. Very simple. What is, what is this? Oh, yeah. Hudson Yard. I was going to say, I feel like I had a graffiti look to it. Yes. Yeah. Manhattan so, looks different. I don't think I saw that before. No, we, the kick plate, the kick plate's different. I forgot what the kick, I think the Hudson Yards. So this isn't the final one, but we did make adjustments to it. So the Hudson Yard over here on the left and the right hand side on the bottom. Yeah. Is now in the middle. It's the kick plate. The whole thing is the kick plate. And then we have Madison Square Garden where Hudson Yards is. Otherwise, the rest of it is exactly the same. God. Madison Square Garden as in the stadium. I'm looking for it and I don't have that in my email for some reason. But dude, that's a that's a design by me. I did that whole design. I like this, it. The Facebook one? That's gonna be a met for meta? This is this is what's going for meta, uh -huh. yeah. So this is this is going to Facebook. It's that's cool. It looks like I mean I could probably see one, two, three, four. But that's where we're going into where I was talking about. You know, you you hit that drop down and then you start changing yeah. the colors of it. I did that in this. I forgot which one it was. Which one it was? I think it might have been. Um, oh, it was one of the ones towards the bottom. I forgot which one it was. But it turned it like this, and I'm like, that is looking amazing right that there. Cool. Yeah, and then so. What, what I'm going to end up doing with the buttons is I'm going to do white and purple buttons. And then I'm mm -hmm. going to do chrome molding. So, you know, like player three will be white. Player one will be purple. Player two will be white. Player four would be purple. So all the way around it. What uh, purple and buttons do you can get? There's a very rare purple buttons. The only place that has it is DIY Retro. Eh? Purple LED or purple? No, I purple, LED. purple LED. What? Yeah. 
They have like, orange too. No, not not I want to check. Uh, orange I did one time for a guy that we did, I did the uh, Mets for. I did Ninja Turtles purple when somebody wanted the turtles, the original Gen One. Um, they wanted the purple and the orange. I actually have it in my garage. The guy brought it back, so I got a the pie died on it after four years. So I'm gonna put a piece. How much did you pay it. for that button? I got Groovy Game Gear has a it's purple. Two or three bucks. Oh, it's not so bad. This is oh, but this is RGB. Why is this RGB? Yeah, DIY Retro's got five volt. Oh, no, I'm sorry, no, they're twelve volt buttons. They're twelve oh, volt color yeah. buttons. But they're not micro switch. They're the yeah, I know the the, the the keyboard switch. Yeah, which are still nice. So he does have. Um, there is a purple micro switch. Um, yeah, actually, you know who he sells the purple micro switch? Um, is uh, ninety nine lives. He sells the purple micro switches. Actually, to be I honest, might, like, you know, I might put micro switches in this. To be honest, like I, I tried them. Uh, also, if anyone wants to buy it, um, I, I was texting like Raul because I'm gonna sell him some shit. But like, uh, if anyone wants to buy my Euro um, Euro buttons, I'm selling like four of them. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. Me personally, I don't really. I I got this thing where I don't like those all in one buttons. They're not all in ones. Like the the IL Euro buttons, the ones that you can put your own micro switch into it. Those, you yeah. Put, yeah, you can put cherry or you can put like twenty gram switches into it. But like, um, I I'm I'm kind of spoiled now by the combat gravities. Uh, so I don't, I don't oh, I see it. It's yeah. uh, it's convex, though, right, Joel? No, con DIY? concave. Concave. The ones that you're doing with purple is it convex or concave? Oh, I don't even know. Convex. That, LED buttons are always con convex. Uh, yeah, I, I saw it already. Those are uh, so those are what we call a Baolian uh, buttons. So uh, basically, Ultimark, Goat Leaf, uh, third party ones on T molding. All those RGB buttons are all using what's called Baolian um, switches. They're Chinese made. Um, like he's bad. Uh, yeah, those are Bali and switches. Yeah. Conca yeah, so now that, that to me is like the all in one switch. The micro switch isn't compatible. That's the only one, yeah. Right. Yeah, there's no there's no micro switch on these at all. It's built in. It's right. Got, it's, it's, it's got it's, the yeah. four prong it's, bottom it's, on it. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, he's the only he's the only one that sells that button in that in that color. Um uh, and then the yeah. only other person that I know of that sells a purple, a complete purple um uh, LED micro switch is ninety nine lives, Greg. I never I found purple that. ones. Anyway. I don't. Yeah. Uh, Ray, Ray just said it, but I'll, I'll send this one. Uh, Groovy Game Gear has concave what up, illuminated. Jake? Let me see. Let me see. Share the screen, man. Share the screen. Let me see. Let me see what what switch switch they're using. And it is. Uh, an, I believe it's an actual micro switch. Hang on. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah that's micro switch. Kilo Gem. You could put a micro switch. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's a real micro switch. So that's adjustable. You can they can you can How pick much one. Is it? I think. Well, the thing that it says it starts at it says six, six dollars a button. Yeah. If you add the leaf switch, you got to add two more dollars. Yeah, this because is, um, it has an R RGB LED inside. That's why. This is different, but that's the same. This this right here is the one that I use on. Um, this is the one I use on on pinball. So that that's what we call a long stem switch, and um, that one you can you can choose what you want to use. You can use cherry, you can use leaf. Or right, whatever. you could. I I'm I'm a big fan of the external micro switches. So that, yeah, external is yeah. better to be. That's honest. where I got like the Groovy Game Gear. I get the Eclipse from. Uh, the Eclipse on Groovy Game I'm not a fan of because the actuation uh, point is too high. Uh, right. Well, this was on my Bivik cabinet. Yeah, exactly. That I, yeah. I was there. I was there. It, <laughs> the pressure on those, right, is too high to actuate. Oh. If, oh. Well, that you, I thought maybe I think it's maybe honestly because of the the micro switch I picked. No, it's not. It's the spring inside the button. These I, are new. I saw these, but yeah. are interesting looking. So I actually did extensive testing on this because uh, I I've went through like four generations of buttons. I never bought from here before. Yeah. Oh, Groovy Game Gear is my go-to. They have the cheapest. Um, even when it comes to joysticks, like industry Lorenzos, these guys are the cheapest. 
No, it can't be. There's a standard Holy price. Sh- yeah, they are. Well, uh, no, it's about the same that's price. Not, that's not industry Lorenzo. That's well, no, that's Hap. That's Hap, that's Hap. sorry. Hap, Hap and Payne. Uh, no, I'm Payne. sorry. So this, no, Groovy Gaming does not have industry Lorenzo. They sorry. don't have high L. No. Half ones I use are different now. They're, that, that, that's a Chinese factory, which is... Hold on. What's their flight oh, stick? Oh, that's the other... That's the eight-way. Never mind. No, that's the Spit... The Spitfire is different. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Night mission... Well, wait. They got a 49-way. Go back. Go back. Go back. No, go back. They, yeah, go the down. 49-way is out of stock. Always. Yeah, but go down. What's the price? Where? Right where do you there. say? Oh, this one? Oh, shit. It's $100. Nah. That's, that's what comes on Blitz. The they original have Blitz Arcade. <laughs> The original Blitz Arcade had the 49 way stick. That's basically an analog yeah. arcade stick. Yeah. So actually, the golden um, standard of uh, fight sticks is the Wico 360. If it if you're gonna do flight sticks, you might as well do. I mean, I would just look at no, not fight, fight. Wico 360. Oh, fight, fight, uh, fight, fight stick. That's the original Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, How much is your T molding, I think. Forty cents a foot. That's that's, cheap. that's not bad. That's not bad. She's yeah, not and their bad. shipping is cheap. They charge like I think, and this is where I got the I got the the T moldings cut. Well, I got mine from Amazon. I did mine on Amazon, dude. And honestly, after I did two control panels, garbage. Yeah. Really? Was yours yellow? Yeah. 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 No, I did mine twice, and you could actually you could actually smell burning wood like fire. And yeah. I, I, it's, I use normal, it. I, to, it? I can only use it for like two control panels and call it a day. Oh, yes. really? So that's not normal. Wait, you want to get? So hang on, yeah, show me what, <laughs> that's not normal. Show me what one do you use, and I'll order the one that you use. I use this one, but they they're it's out of stock inch. right now. Oh, it's a quarter inch shank. Yeah. Got it. So yeah, it's actually, really and, and it's three winged. The one yeah. that yellow one I think I got it was two winged. No, this yellow one I got is a three wing. Oh, I gotta try that then. No, then three wing better. You yeah, you LED. want a three wing. Yeah. They, you know who you know who also sells those in a three wing is um Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has some good stuff sometimes, but again, same thing. It's like after two control panels, that's it. Yeah, right. for, for buttons like IL is the best. The, the Spain IL, the Spanish uh, like these you can use like cherry switches or. Oh, uh, that's what TV. you wanted to see. I think if I'm doing industry Lorendos, I think it's tmolding.com that has it's the- tmolding, but they ha- if you can get them from mail themselves they have an rgb version which is the nice. other the other website i do if i really have something that needs custom is the paradise arcade i paradise, usually do team molding for every paradise arcade, um no don't get paradise because paradise arcades um buttons their spring is so heavy like it, it's, it's you're able to pick it you're able to like choose the the, the spring you can pick a micro switch uh yes i'm sorry yes yeah yeah so like here i'll, I'll show you guys uh, hey ray i'm gonna send you the uh the pedal tomorrow but I'm going to give you. You got to buy your own screws and shit. Of course. <laughs> All right. I'll so I'll send you the uh, the list for it too. Yeah. So the reason IL is good. Ah, okay. So here, watch. Right. I'm literally gonna pop up the plunger. The spring. This is this is what makes the difference. Oh, that's actually very. Yeah. So that's got a lot this, going on. That's, if the springs this, I've seen have like maybe four loop smags. If this is too heavy, right, you're going to get very sore very quick playing your games. Yeah. All right. IL makes the standard for American buttons for the last, like, you know, 20 years. This is what we're used to in the U.S., which is ironic because I'm the Chinese guy telling the Italian guy and the Jewish guy, like, you know, oh, what is the standard for the buttons in fucking U.S.? Yeah. Right. (laughs) This is the light. Okay. Is that concave? This is concave. Yeah, I, it's something you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. But now oh, yeah. I switched over to oh, yeah. that. with the light off. Oh, oh that yeah, man, that's that what, that's good. Yeah, I feel, I feel the light up real nice. Yep. So now I'm switching to Quanba Gravity because these have super light actuation force, and but they don't have the the, the clicky, the slappy feel of sound. Right. The sound is. Nice. I don't know. For me personally, if I was pushing that button, I would accidentally push a button. <laughs> yeah, basically, but but for fighters, for people who play fighting games, yeah, fighters, yeah, you want the yeah. light. You want this, like you want to be able to do this, like yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's no sound on this. 
okay, I'm I'm not a professional gamer, but people who play, they say, oh, if there's too much sound, the opponent can hear what I'm I'm hitting. I'm like, yeah, I don't know how much that's really gonna affect you, but I I like these, and these are not expensive. They're like five bucks, four five. That's bucks. not too bad. That's not All too right. bad. Guys, let's let's call it a night. We're yeah, yeah. I know. I saw the yawn and I was like, "Yep, <laughs> yep." I'm falling asleep. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Love all you guys. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next time. We'll see you. Uh, we just bullshit every week. <laughs> <laughs>